Welcome guys, this is the uh, inaugural battle report for OPTV. I'm joined today by Jamie and Charlie here. Greetings. Hello. We're going to do a bit of 40k battle rep, uh, doing the new mission from the White Dwarf, the uh, Schemes of War. Uh, it should be an interesting one. We've got this uh, rather beautiful Alatok Eldar army with us, belonging to none other than Jamie. And uh, slightly less beautiful. Uh, Tau army, which looks like <laughs> pigeons have pooed all over it, but I maintain it's clever camouflage, so it's fine. Well, well, <laughs> depends what pigeons are on the planet, I suppose. This, is true. this so, is very true, you know. very true. Okay, so um, nice and simple, we'll uh, default to Charlie, uh, to Jamie here to uh, run through his army. Uh, what are you bring him? Right, hello guys, this is a um, light up list, it's 1750 points and it's divided up into two battalions. Um, I will point as we go through. So, first battalion, we've got Illich Knight Spear, the Autark, who's the Warlord, and one, two, three units of Rangers. Um, second battalion, we've got Farseer, Warlock, some Guardians with Bright Lance platform, and two units of Dire Avengers. And then, just making up the extra slots, we've got a Crimson Hunter, two uh, Fire Prisms, some converted Shining Spears, only three of them in there and some wind riders with shuriken catapults, wave serpent with three uh, shuriken cannons, and then three dark reapers. I think that's it. And everything is WYSIWYG, is it not? Almost. Almost. <gasps> Almost. <laughs> Almost. Almost. <laughs> 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 well, it's not WYSIWYG, come on. So the two things that aren't WYSIWYG, the Water Warlord has got a Reaper Launcher and the Dark Reaper Exarch has got a Tempest Launcher. Okay. So there'll be some transplanting going on when I've got so the extra parts. He definitely <laughs> deserves <laughs> to have that dice next to him then. Yeah, yeah, does, yeah. definitely. Okay, so uh, yeah. what, are you, uh, what are you taking for psychic powers and for your uh, Warlord trait? So just a little bit of a grudge match against Charlie. Just a little bit, yeah, maybe. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> so, Though by not any means a competitive Light Dog Eldar list, it's probably about as competitive as I can build my army in its current state. At the moment. Mm. At the moment. No, I was saying like that. <laughs> so, um, so I've bought um, two psychic powers for the um, Farseer, and that's going to be Doom and Executioner. Ooh. And then the psychic power of the Warlock, we're going to go with. Uh, what's it called? Yeah, with what does it do? What does it do? do? It's the one you hate. Protect and jinx. Ah. <laughs> Protect and Good jinx. Good God, grief. Okay, right. <laughs> and how about Warlord trait? So, Mark of the Incomparable Hunter on the Autark. So he can target characters nice. even if they're not the closest, right? Correct. Yeah, okay. Um, also known as Mark of the Incompetent Hunter from previous games. Yes, incompetence is rife in this Warlord. <laughs> I don't know why they're still the Warlord. But I <laughs> absolutely love that Webway Gate under your uh, Crimson Hunter, it looks oh, so nice. nice. <laughs> For those aficionados of Dawn of War, it's going to be very familiar. <laughs> well, yeah. speaking of just, Dawn of War... Just wait for the next hour of War. Oh, um, yeah, Relic. Falshu's wing, which is effectively the Swooping Hawk wings that aren't Swooping Hawk wings. So mm. that's only really important for transport capacity in terms of vehicles. So they take one space up. Dunking him in the wave serpent, basically. Most likely. Yeah, probably right. wise. Right. And who is uh, the Warlord? Oh, that is the Auto. That is the Auto. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay then, so... Uh, Nothing much so, more to it. That's a good look at the LA talk. We'll uh, grab Charlie's Tau army out in a minute and uh, get him to run through. All right, let's do it. Okay then, Charlie, what are you running? Right, so this is a Tau brigade. So HQ wise, we've got a Cade Fireblade, Dark Strider over there, and then a, a Cold Star Battlesuit Commander who's got a uh, high output burst cannon. He's got a missile pod, and he's got a uh, air bursting fragmentation projector, which has been upgraded with the relic to the uh, supernova launcher. Ooh. And he's also got uh, an advanced targeting system, so all his weapons will benefit from an additional minus one AP. Um, then troops wise, we've got six units of five breaches. I'm running them as far sight today, so hopefully we should get some benefit from their close range weapons without reroll one to wound. Um, and each uh, per two squads, you've got uh, a devil fish each, and each of the devil fish has got a burst cannon and two gun drones. Um, then going on to the elites, we've got two units of four stealth battle suits, um, one with all burst cannons and the other with a couple of fusion blasters to try and kill some of those irritating wave serpents. Um, and then the 
uh, Riptide, which has got fairly standard loadout of the heavy burst cannon, two smart missile systems, and then it's got the um, advanced targeting system again for the minus one AP and a, I believe it's a target lock, maybe a target lock, whichever one it is that gives them the uh, no penalties to move and shoot heavy weapons. The anti Eldar flyer one. Uh, well, <laughs> it does. I mean, all it does is takes away the heavy one minus. Unfortunately, I wish it took away the, uh, the penalty shoot planes. <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm figuring that I'm going to have to try and get up the field a bit, so taking a bit more mobility was, was probably a good idea. Yeah. Um, obviously could have taken the Velocity Tracker, which is a bit cheaper and would be quite good against a lot of the flying Eldar stuff, but again, I think probably the mobility is probably going to be more useful. Um, and then to finish up, three um, broadside battle suits, each with the heavy rail rifles and the dual smart missile systems, and they've got a, gun, um, a shield drone each. Um, and then two units of four shield drones and one unit of six gun drones. So I figure the gun drones I could might be able to drop them in on an objective late game or or maybe sort of pop in and kill something that's slightly fragile or already wounded. So basically yeah. everything held up. Well fingers crossed, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think it's it's not it's as I said, it's like as Jamie's uh, the same as Jamie's army, it's not particularly optimised, but I think it's fun. And yeah, well, I should have a good time watching them all get killed by shrieking catapults. That'd be fun. So, what's your uh, what's your thinking of going for far sight as opposed to your uh, more typical builds of Tau Sept or? Well, Sosaya? I use this army as Tau almost all the time, and so I thought, well, we're starting a, we're starting up. This is an inaugural battle report, so I may as well sort of put something in there that people are unlikely to have seen. Uh, I mean, obviously, far sight is probably not as good as as um, as Tau, but. You know, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, if because I'm particularly with the breaches, if you get them within five inches of an Eldar infantry thing, then they're going to be wounding on two, three rolling ones with an AP minus two gun. So, you know, nice that's thing. yeah, exactly. It'll be yeah. it'll be pretty good, I think. Cool. So it's, it's not because you did you wanted to give me PTSD flashbacks. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit, a little bit column A, a little column B. <laughs> All right, then, guys. So. Uh, they're the two armies that we're we'll facing off. Uh, as we say, it's going to be Schemes of War mission from the uh, from the recent White Dwarf. Uh, we'll set up the battlefield. We'll do the deployment and we'll run through the objective placement. Everything once we're uh, once we're done. Uh, let's get to it. Okay, then, guys. So here we are. We've got uh, board all set up. Armies deployed. So the uh, the terrain we're using at the moment. We're on a uh, game map dot eu map which is uh, as you can tell rather pretty uh, we're using some uh, some of the GW sector Mechanicus with a few other bits here and there uh, we will apologize there are a few bits that are uh, not entirely painted but uh, for a new channel we are working on it mm -hmm. so objectives we've gone for a fairly even objective placement uh, placed by Charlie and Jamie uh, you can probably tell which one's Charlie's place because they're uh, nice and even and easy to remember and easy to see <laughs> uh, so I'm going to get the guys to go through their deployment. We're going to start off with Charlie, uh, just because he's closer to me. Uh, Charlie, do you want to uh, give an explanation? Uh, yeah, okay, so uh, I'm trying to sort of deploy quite far forward just to make the most of that far sight, reroll one to wound. Um, and then I've just got the commander here, so hopefully he might be able to pop a monk early on, move, enable the whole army to move forward a bit more than they might do otherwise and still maintain that kind of shooting ability. Um, and then all the devilfish with all their troops inside again. I want to try and push forward to so make the most of those breaches, um, their um, pulse blasters to get those five inch shots to bring it up to strength six AP minus two. Um, and then over here, I've put down my sort of stealth suits to try and sort of turn this flank, maybe distract Jamie a little bit from uh, what I'm doing over there. And then the uh, pathfinders just to use their pre-game move just to pop them up somewhere that hopefully their marker lights can see down to um, a few different tanks to guide the broadsides a little bit. Um, so yeah, so that, I mean, I'm, I think maybe I'm going to regret not leaving something in my backfield, but having played this army before against Jamie, he's a very canny player, and if I don't, um, if I don't sort of throw everything at him, then I, he has a nasty knack of pulling things out of his behind. So we will see. We'll see how it goes. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Jamie, yeah. before we get to uh, do your deployment, yes. I feel like we probably need to pay homage to that shirt you're wearing. <laughs> uh, this, so, will, this will be the first of many, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Is this going to be your trademark then? Yeah, and it's just so humid and horrible today. It is, that, it is uh, ghastly in here. It was needed. There's yeah. no sun outside, plenty of rain, but yeah. the humidity is gross. Okay then, so, so your deployment. 
Yeah, so um, we've left the Fire Dragons in the webway and one of the three units of Rangers is also in whatever their rule is, appear unbidden, something along those lines. So, and in the Wave Serpent we have the Autark, Tharsir, Warlock and five of the Dire Avengers. Um, I've deployed relatively conservatively, I think. I'm just trying really to block off any avenues that he has to get into this... Um, deployment zone because I know once he gets up close it's going to hurt me and there's always that one in six chance that he's going to get first turn as well and I'll have to weather a turn of firepower. We have some of the faster units just sitting out there ready to go and grab objectives if needed and uh, I think we should also mention the uh, lovely objective markers courtesy of Charlie who remortgaged to get them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, yeah. It's okay for solid gold you just you've got to pay you get what you pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay then yeah, so uh, so the roll off. All right. Okay. So, so I have my patented dice with a very naughty word on it. <laughs> and so, do you see? Hoo ya! Damn it. Okay. That's enough. That is definitely not a six, unfortunately. But oh. it's all right. You know, we don't want with Tau versus Eldar. Even a Lytok has the potential to be a very devastating first turn for Tau. So uh, you know, it's nice for Jamie that he can have, Thanks, a, bit, have a, bit, a bit more time to play. <laughs> uh, but we shall see. Right. Well, best of luck, my friend. Best Let's of luck. This. Right. Okay. That's so, Eldar turn one. Right then. So that's the end of the Eldar movement phase. Uh, before we get Jamie to describe what he's done, we'll go through his uh, card draw. So he's drawn his five, and then he's chosen his three. So. Got no prisoners, a killer unit, always fairly good for Eldar. Supremacy, could be a tough one for him, but he has uh, has a few options, and uh, he's got his hidden objective, which we will uh, <laughs> we will show you when he achieves it. So, uh, Jamie, what you done? That remains to be seen. Um, prisms have stayed put, uh, as of the Shining Spears, don't want to get them too much in the line of fire yet. Ilix and these rangers here have also stayed put, but everything else has shuffled around a bit. The three HQ characters have got out, we've moved the two psychers over this direction for reasons that shall become apparent shortly. Um, Autarchs here just to gain the re-roll of ones for these two units. The Reapers have sat themselves behind this building here. Wave Serpent's moved itself over here subsequently. We also have Wind Riders moved around to try and confront these chaps on Objective 2. Some of the Guardians have moved up, they weren't all able to get up without advancing, and then these Rangers here have moved over onto Objective number 3. Nice, and your, uh, your Crimson Hunter has gone now. Uh, oh, of course, the Crimson Hunter. Full yes. aggressive. Yes, so we did an anti-degree turn, moved up an anti-degree turn again, and yes, I always struggle a bit with where to put flyers when you're playing something like town, but I don't think there is anywhere safe, so we'll just have to rely on a little bit of luck, and maybe a stratagem. I don't think there's anywhere safe from tower full stop, is there? No, my experience with uh, Charlie's rail rifles, heavy rail rifles, has, uh, has been interesting <laughs> in the past, so... Uh, Perfect. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Psychic phase, short review of all. Okay. Charlie, how do you feel about Jamie's movement phase? Well, as you may have just seen, I'm going desperately going through my stratagems trying to find something that might actually work because I'm slightly concerned. But, um, whoa, I mean, it's obviously his very early days, but um, he's come forward a bit more than I was necessarily expecting. Although, Never underestimate my ability to roll ones at crucial moments. I mean, that is, that is correct, and I've seen that many, many, many times. But, as um, have we all. But, I mean, it's certainly, this is looking rather nasty, so I might have to try and get rid of that, and I could probably get some stuff a little bit closer to maybe try and mitigate that I light up minus one but ooh, we'll see see how the shooting phase goes with Jamie off and it's all or nothing so we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> okay so former, probably get the lat. let's uh, head into the psychic phase let's do that okay so got three powers we want to try and get off this turn doom executioner and jinx um, all of them are going to be directed against this poor unfortunate unit here doesn't pay to be bold, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so sensible one to start with is obviously going to be either Doom or Jinx. So we'll start with Jinx from the Warlock. That'll be an eight. They are now Jinx. Good rolling. Followed by Doom. Just about pulled it off. <laughs> And then lastly, because it doesn't require line of sight, and we pre-measured, they're all 18. Yeah. Um, we're going to 
scroll. Okay, not what we were hoping for. So we'll use runes of the past here. Try and get a better roll this time. Looking for seven. Got it. That's okay, D three mortal wounds. That's the three. Oh, that's a big three. One and a half, and then another D three. Yeah, with executioner. So another two. So that is one, uh, two left on one as one wound. Oh, that's there a good, go. good, a good start. Move. Tasty. Right. So uh, we'll jump back straight back into the shooting phase uh, once Jamie's decided what he's going to kill next. So Eldar shooting phase and Eldar yeah. player's favourite phase. Yeah. That psychic phase was pretty good though, I'm going to take yeah. that. This is where the luck starts to run out. I think. So, <laughs> we're going to start with these three wind riders opening up against the remains of the stealth suits. Ah. Not bad. Hmm. Not bad at all. And they are doomed and jinxed. Ooh. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> Sorry, mate. That's. Um, I think nine. that's actually. I think they might all be dead just from uh, the AP minus three because it yeah. basically is AP minus four from the jinx. Yeah. And they've only got three up armor save. So that's four wounds that go through immediately, which is all of them. Which is that's the unit. Well, that is some wow. brutal shooting. Wow. And I will just. Uh, we'll just. For the uh, purpose of the video, this is not Jamie's normal luck. No. He's not Lawrence from yes, Tabletop Tactics. Yes, it is. He's lying. He's just an amazing rolling all the time. <laughs> we shall see later on as those things develop how, how it should be. Right. Okay, that was so, unexpected. Now I don't know what to do. Right. <laughs> um, these rangers, I think, will fire down against these guys here. So this is the second unit. Cell suits. Okay. Ain't bad. <laughs> Let's do that again. No, that's more like it. So, one save. <laughs> One save? Two up save, is it? Uh, no AP, is there? So yeah, two up save. Yeah, smash it. Very well done. Right. Wave Serpent here will do same unit. That's more like it. Yeah, it's so <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Okay, so three saves. Three saves. So three two ups. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> Right. right, next we're going to, the Dark Reapers uh, through my ineptitude and got no targets. So actually the um, Tempest Launcher, which was a backup to try and remove these, is going to go against these guys here. So 2d6 shots, 7, okay. Is it re roll wounds of one? So be correct, sucks. It isn't, it isn't, it, no, no, isn't it reroll hits of one? This is a crack shot. That's the one, yeah. yeah. That's the one, yeah. So there we have five wounds, oh, yeah. Charlie. Okay. So I'm going to need a four up, if I'm not very much mistaken. Two up to a four up for the AP minus two. Uh, one dead. There I go in, not there going. Okay. Okay, so Jamie, uh, your uh, next shot is going to be your fire prisms, and uh, what did you forget? Uh, not that I make a habit of doing this every game, but uh, <laughs> I totally forgot linked fire. Uh, we, we had a chat and Charlie, very generously, because he's a gent, has said don't worry about it. And uh, we'll just say that we did it at the beginning of the phase. So it would be this one declaring linked fire, uh, which will then may not be shooting right at the end of the shooting phase. Okay. Well, to be fair, I am playing town, so I've got to build up some goodwill somehow, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty great to good. Yeah. It's also pigeon poo town, so... It yeah. is, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I'm not going to make the joke, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, so we've only got a couple of units left to shoot. The Elite, mm -hmm. the Autark, Fire Prisms, uh, and the Crimson Hunter, and that Bright Lance platform. So we might as well start with the Bright Lance platform on the rip side. Mm -hmm. I mean, against the shield drones. So, <laughs> four to hit, hits, wounds. Uh, I will activate Savior Protocol onto the Riptoid, I so on a two up, yeah, so one of them takes a mortal wound and then they have a five up feel no pain. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> so uh, if you didn't see that, that is uh, Jamie's sign uh, Charlie's signature 4F save dice. Yes. dice. <laughs> right. So the Autark has got line of sight on this unit here, so she is going to fire her Reaper launcher at them. Double six. Mm. Oh dear. Three to wind. Okay. Okay. So AP minus two. So four up. 
Loves yeah, it. Makes it. Very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we're gonna, after much debate, we're going to shoot the Lit Knight Spear down at this unit as well, just in an effort to remove them. So, one shot, hits, and wounds. And okay, that's a mortal so wound in addition. Yeah, so one mortal wound, and it's AP minus three with damage three, Charlie. So might be damage like, three? Yeah, it might be a bit of a waste. Okay, <laughs> so I will over. require a five up, if I'm not very much mistaken. Ah! Nicely done, so it's just Again, one wound just taken. Wound. Okay. So, Crimson Hunter time. Um, sorry, I should be facing that. Uh, oh. The base is a bit flimsy, shall we say. So, um, we're going to fire two bright lances over the broadsides and the pulse laser down into these chaps here in an effort to remove them. So, so start with the pulse, pulse laser. Pulse indeed. Two hits. Two wounds. Okay, right. I'm going to try to save your protocols, both of those. Uh, oh, sorry, it's right, these chaps so oh, those guys. Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, so, AP minus four, is it? Uh, three. Three, Plus okay. Six, yeah. So they've got five ups. They're doing well so far. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're, 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 they're hanging on in there. Yeah. Okay, so then the two bright lances over into the unit broadsides. Two hits again. And just the one save. Um, <laughs> Is that are you going to burn the command They're point? great CP debates. There are damage rolls to come and there are shield drones in abundance. Indeed. So, uh, well, if I, if I do get another wound, then at least it's another shield drone probably dead. So I'll, I'll reroll it. Actually, um, I don't oh. know if this will affect your, your sort of cogitations. Do you tell something? But um, they are an individual unit each. Ah, okay. Um, so, oh, which one, so which one are you... Target. Well, it's the, the one that's straight in front. So that one, that one, that one. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, closest guy. Okay, so I will spend a command point right. that takes me down to eleven because of the pre-game spend. Ah, it's still that. Do I get it back for the autark? No. And do I get it back for the pure uh, toy engram neuro chip? No. It's only on a six for that. I think. Okay. Yeah. So this guy takes a. A wound, a mortal wound, and he's feeling no pain. Oh, Loves it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so down to last shots now. So it's this fire prism using linked fire to this fire prism. Neither of them moved. Um, we will fire at the riptide, which has nice line of sight to and from this prism here. Now, how many shield drones have you got in range? Lots and lots. Uh, lots and lots and lots. Lots and lots and lots. Okay. Well, I've got one unit. I've got one unit of one, mm. one unit of three, and one unit of four. Okay. So I th just thinking about the best way to try and take out the uh, Riptide, or to at least put some wounds on it. Um, I'm not sure if it's the right call or not, but with the first fire prism, using the linked fire stratagem, I'm thinking that it might be better to use the dispersed fire setting, because that's potential maximum 12 shots, re-wronging the wounds even though he's toughness 7. Because if there are any drones trying to take wounds, then at least I might get rid of some drones for when the second prism fires, and I can use a better fire mode then. I don't. Know. Anyone who has any insight into that, please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> right. So two d6 shots on the riptide from this prism via this prism. It's a, a whopping four. So. Okay, we didn't move. Rerolling because of linked fire. That's no wounds. One wound. Ooh, one wound. Right. So okay. now the luck's coming back. I will, <laughs> I will take that on the Riptide. Yeah. So he's got a five up invulnerable save. Very good. Those invulnerable saves. Those invulnerable saves are really extremely yeah. good so far. Well, the second prism will do exactly the same in that case, just to try and see if we can whittle some drones down. So six, marginally better. Rerolling that one. So we've got six hits. Bit better. Okay, three saves this time. Okay, I think I'll I think I'll continue to take them on the Riptide because I do have I do have access to a regeneration strategy yeah. to, to build it back up again. So whereas obviously once I lose the drones they're gone. So yeah. let's see how this goes. Five ups. Oh, oh Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. my word. Okay, that's that's yeah. That's definitely not statistical. <laughs> not that I'm complaining, of course. Of course. Okay. 
So end of the shooting phase, end of the Eldar turn. There are no charges to declare. Nope. Um, the uh, lone stealth suit down here has passed his morale, so he is holding strong. Yep. Uh, so Jamie, what yeah. did you achieve? Right, so the hidden one was secure objective two. So we've achieved that. And yes. then these uh, jet bikes right here, isn't it? Yeah, they did the trick, well, but we did indeed with those uh, sixes to wound. No prisoners, we did manage to destroy one enemy unit. Um, and then supremacy, we've got objectives two, one, and three. Very nice. Right, so for the D3, oh. <laughs> so three victory points plus one for first strike. Okay. Oof. So that's a pretty good first turn for the other. Jamie, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I think it balanced out. I think it started out really strong with the psychic phase in the beginning of the shooting phase and then just went downhill from there, really. But um, I set out what I was uh, intending to achieve and I suppose you can't ask for better than that. Anything else would have been a bonus. It would have been nice to have this little chappy gone, but um, some impressive saving throws mm. from Charlie. So yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Hopefully he won't cause me too many problems, he says. <laughs> okay then, so uh, Charlie, we'll go through your movement phase now and then yeah. we'll uh, jump back in for the end of the phase for Tau Turn 1. So then, and end of the uh, Tau movement phase. Uh, before you go into what you've done, do you want to go through your cards? Yes, yeah, okay, so I've got Screw Objective 4. So over here, shouldn't be too difficult. Got the K to 5 blade doing that. Very nice. Um, and then I've got my secret, super secret mystery objective. <laughs> and then behind enemy lines, which again, I mean, it depends on his probably his next shooting phase and how, how much of his stuff I managed to destroy. But um, <laughs> given the way I'm trying to play the game, moving forward aggressive, hopefully I should be able to get that at some point, even if it's not necessarily this turn. And so this is going to be a rarity if you see a Tau army actually getting <laughs> behind enemy lines. That's, yeah, well. uh, Something special. I right? thought it was worth a try. And then also, to be fair, I've got a unit of six gun drones in reserve anyway, so I can pop them down at some point, unless he decides to spread out in his deployment zone. But yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, he won't have enough stuff to spread out in his deployment zone. Yeah, just kill it first. Um, yeah, so that's more or less it, I think. And then these so, two units have stayed still, ready to fire off some marker lights, general advance, drones making sure they're within, still within sort of striking distance of their um, battle suits. Uh, trying to hide from the snipers over there, got the devilfish moving around on that right flank. Um, yeah, so we shall see, let's see how it goes. And your uh, commander's been quite uh, aggressive here. Well, he's got his eye on he is a, a particular he's a target. brave Tau, he's, he, doesn't, he doesn't mind just getting right in amongst the thick of it. And also, to be fair, I feel like I've got enough stuff that's going to be closer to the majority of Jamie's army to shield him from most of the shots. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see. Hopefully, I'll need to probably need to kill that the uh, the Crimson Hunter this turn. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I, if I've got if I have some good shots through to the Fire Prism, obviously, if you destroy one, you take away the ability to use that stratagem, which is massive for them. So okay. I'll make a decision on that depending on where the marker lights fall and see what I want. Okay. So do you want to go into your psychic phase? Ooh, yeah, that's it. Done. All good. Right. Shoot so, <laughs> The Tau phase coming up. Indeed. So first off, we'll be firing the marker lights. Stop. I'm going to play a stratagem. Just because I used this to good effect once before, I don't know if it'll help today. I'm going to play Pathfinders on these guys because it looks to me as if Charlie wants to remove them for some reason. I, so, I think you, there, there is a hint there that, that yeah, you want them gone. I, I got that impression. So uh, do I get the command point back? Do not. No, so, so what does Pathfinders do then, Jamie? Oh, it means no. that you can only hit them on a six. Ooh. I think they would have had a minus one to hit anyway, but it will require a six to hit them now. That's pretty nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy about this. <laughs> it's okay, because I can uh, use my uh, Agents of Vect, so uh, <laughs> none of that. Right, okay. Mm, no. So those guys are going to be quite tricky. Right, so we'll do those first then, because we, we all know what they're what they're all about. So we've got two burst cannons and four gun drones firing. So that will be oh, 24 shots. So the uh, mascot of OPTV has joined us. Uh, if you hear any uh, strange noises, it's... Uh, That's probably it. Yeah. This one here, not Charlie, honest. <laughs> well, some of them might be me, but you know. <laughs> right, so, so first devil fish into the um, 
rangers, so I don't need to worry about their differing ballistic skill because Jamie's very kindly played that uh, stratagem just for my convenience, I'm sure. <laughs> so number one, so I need sixes to hit. So just the one. Wounding on threes? No. Nope. Okay, so that's six and one more. And then the next one. Uh, two. Wounding on threes. Two five up armor saves, unless I'm much mistaken. Coming up. Okay, so one goes down. Right. Okay, so now the um, the Pathfinders are going to fire their marker lights, and they're going to fire them through to this unit of Eldar Guardians. So unfortunately I will be at minus one because of the Elytok. So we'll see if I can land any. So fives. So, I'm going to play Celestial Shield. Ooh. What does that do? It's another fun stress. Is that a five up in vulnerable save? It's a four up in vulnerable save. Oh, nice. Which I do not get the command point back. Okay, uh, so I do not get the command point back either. Not very so well that, are we? two hits for the marker lights. So that's my that's that's now two marker light hits on that unit of guardians, which now I can reroll ones to hit against them, and one of the meaningless three in between the reroll ones to hit and the plus one to hit. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, we'll now fire the rest of the marker lights. So these two. So this is Cade Fireblade and um, Dark Strider. They are both going to fire their marker lights into this gentleman here. Ah, uh, yes. So, minus two to hit because he's a light and a flyer, so that means they hit on fours. Is that cocked, would you say? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so that's one marker light, so I'll be re-rolling ones to hit on this fella. Uh -huh. That could be fairly important, that. Okay. Mm. And now I'll fire the rest of the marker lights into him as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So these will be a fives. Uh, no, these will be sixes. Uh, Rerolling ones. Ouch. Ouch. So no more marker lights. So stealth suit's going to go into the bikes. That's two hits. Vengeance for his fallen comrades. Wounding on threes. That's one four of armor save, my friend. Pass. Okay. He's so terrified, he's just shit <laughs> popping off, he's, he's very, very scared. <laughs> uh, then the Delphish is going to go into them as well, so that's four uh, burst cannon shots, hit on fours. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Very well done. And then wounding on threes. Less good, but still alright, so two <laughs> more four-ups. That's oh. it. Okay, and then the elder. rest Who from the awesome? gun drones. So these will be hit on fives. So two hits, when you're threes, two wins. So two more fives. Oh, oh yeah. first win drops. Mm. Okay. But still, that's pretty, yeah, uh, pretty good resilience yeah, there. Yeah, nice. not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so now the broadsides, they are going to fire into. Well, their smart missile systems are going into the bikes, uh -huh. and the rail heavy rail rifles are going into the. Um, you know what's going to happen now, don't you? So there's going to be a certain stratagem play called Lightning Fast Reaction. Dun, how, many, dun, how, many, dun. how many command points have you spent this turn? <laughs> Most, no, oh. uh, four. I think this will make it four. So <laughs> do we get a command point back? No. Do, do I get a command point back? No. No. Okay, so. Yeah, definitely not doing uh, doing well on the uh, command point regeneration there, guys. No. But then again, to be fair, I remember go playing an entire game with Tau with a brigade. So obviously I managed to spend 15 command points. And my opponent had a brigade of Tyranids and they spent 15 command points and I didn't get a single one back. <laughs> not that I'm constantly bitching about it or anything, it's fine. Of course not, it's definitely not caused you PTSD of course or, not. or hurt your feelings right. or anything. Okay, so uh, he's, minus, he's now minus three to hit. Mm. However, they have velocity trackers, so he's minus two to hit. Yep. Um, and this guy moved, so he is minus three to hit. So gotcha. four, five, six. So he will be hitting on sixes, so we'll do okay. him first because he's an absolute baller. Not, uh, oh yeah, we're yeah. rolling the one, of course, thank you very much. 
Nope. Still a one. Okay, uh, and now his smart missile system going into, well, there's two smart missile systems, in fact, going into the, bike, into the bikes. So they are over 12 inches away. Um, but, uh, he, that again, velocity trackers, so cancels it out, so they'll be hitting on fours. Uh, which is all right. Mm -hmm. And then wounding on threes with an AP1. Also, for those of you who are wondering, I don't actually have delirium tremens from post-alcoholism. I just have a tremor. That comes later. <laughs> yeah. So wounding on threes. Uh, so three wounds, AP minus one. All right, I think we're going to see some casualties now. Yeah. Okay. All like remains. So uh, next one. It's going to do exactly the same thing. Uh -huh. So heavy rail rifle, going to be hitting on fives this time, re-rolling ones against the plane. Uh, no. Ooh. Ooh. Heavy rail rifle's not really doing me much of a uh, service this time around. So that is, okay, so now onto the bike, the smart missile system. Uh -huh. Ooh, that was not very good. And threes. One. Minus one. He's done it. Cool. Very so well. That was terrible. Those okay. bikes used to be a three up save. They did used to be a three up save. Back in the day. Okay. Next one's going to do the same thing again. So, um, five three rolling ones. One hit. Finally. Oh. Wounding on threes. Oh. One point? Ah! One no, one it's, it's not worth it. It's not going to kill him. Uh, <laughs> and then the next one. Uh, so, his, his uh, smart missile system is going to go into the jet bike. So hitting on uh, fives rolling ones. Oh no, because of velocity tracker, sorry, so yeah. fours rolling. Uh, no, no, sorry, just no, fours, just no fours, re no rerolls. Three hits, wounding on threes, two at AP minus one. Mm -hmm. Should get rid of it. With any luck. Let's see. Oh. oh. Lingering. Oh dear, 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 dear. <laughs> this is not going how I had hoped it might. Okay, so what are we gonna do about this? So the Riptide is now going to Nova Charge, and I'm going to use, so he loses another wound. So I'm now going to use Branch Nova Charge for one command point, which means that I can get two bonuses from the Nova Charge rule rather than just one. So I'm going to use it for the weapon, which gives him an increased number of shots on his heavy burst cannon, and I'm going to use it on the Nova Shield, so he has a three up invulnerable save now. Ooh, very nice. Very good. So uh, I'm going to put I'm going to put one of his smart missile systems into this last bike, and I'm going to put one into these guardians here. Okay. So, first one in, and then his um, heavy burst cannon is going to go into the um, uh, into the jet. So, four shots into the bike, hitting on fours, re-rolling nothing. So, two hits and wounding on threes two wounds, and he also has the uh, advanced targeting system, so it will have to be two five up fast to keep him alive. <laughs> no, he's yeah. a gunner. Is it, with the new missions, isn't it first strike, so you get it if you do it your first turn? He is indeed <laughs> first strike. <laughs> Lovely, okay, I'm very pleased about that. <laughs> so uh, his next um, smart missile system into the Guardians, so he is unfortunately over 12 inches away, so he will suffer a minus one, so we hit on fives. They still got the celestial shield. Yeah. No hits. Yeah. That was worth it. Okay. <laughs> so now he's going to fire his heavy burst cannon into the jet, hoping that weight of dice might help get me through that uh, minus one. Although I'm not that op uh, optimistic, if I'm completely honest. Now, we're just going to go away for a second while I find some more dice. So the Riptide Big Dick Cannon is going into the jet. I'm hoping to take a few wounds off it, even if I can't kill the damn thing. So this will be hitting on uh, oh, sixes, unfortunately, because of the minus one to hit. In fact, I might not be able to shoot at that because it's got lightning fast reactions and I hit on a four up. So four, five, six, seven. So yes, yeah, so I actually can't shoot at the uh, the jet. I'll shoot something else. Shoot target, so I will fire at those. I think I will fire at those um, guardians. Yep. So these this is just going to be hitting on fives. Well, easy. So <laughs> and re-rolling ones. Oh, that did not look good at first sight. 
Aha. Uh -huh. So, I mean, three out of 18, not great, if I'm completely honest. Wounding on twos. Three wounds, so three, four up invulnerable saves, my friend. Oh, dear. Celestial Shield really not <laughs> feeling worth it now. Not the best spend in a command points there, I think. <laughs> yes, um, so my understanding of it is that you have to play it when you're targeted. So because he was targeted by the Pathfinder, I had to kind of assume that he was therefore going to shoot lots gonna of them. Going to maul him. But yes, it's, yeah. it's served me well in the past, but not today. Okay. So, General now is at a bit of a loose end. So what he's going to do, he'll target the jet, I think, again, he's just, he's just got to. Um, so he's got his supernova launcher, which has D6 shots, so four. So he has got a ballistic skill of two plus normally. So minus one for a flyer, three plus, minus one for the lightning fast reactions is a four. So he'll be hitting on fours with his supernova launcher. Rerolling ones because of the marker line. It's two hits, strength six, and I believe the toughness is six of the Crimson Hunter. Uh, I will just double check it, but I think you're right. Not that it matters. It is six indeed. Yeah, so nothing. So high output burst cannon. Again, hit on fours. So that's three hits. And strength five, so winning on fives. No one. So one at AP minus one. Okay, looking for four up. Okay, and the missile pod, again, hit on fours. Two hits Ooh. this time. Strength seven, so AP minus, uh, sorry, uh, three to wound. That's two wounds, AP minus two. There you go. Okay, so that's 2d3 damage. Four. Good work, Charlie. Nice. At least, at least something's done something. Yeah, it's been a very, very ineffective turn. Demoralizing if you don't, isn't it? Mind you, to be fair, it is very similar to last time when we basically spent ages trying to kill each other, but you couldn't get through my drones, so I couldn't get you through your negative modifiers to hit. <laughs> Right, so we get all this off the table. Okay. I think that's everything shot. So it's possibly possibly a record for Tau in terms of ineffective first shooting to phases. So assault phase, I'm going to charge those rangers with the two devilfish. Okay. By charge, you mean run over. Ex well, that hopefully, yes. <laughs> so would you care to overwatch, my friend? I would. So I'm going to use the shuriken catapults, I think. Because of the minus okay. pistols. Sixes. Pistols, sorry, yes. Because yeah. so, I don't think you can get the six on vehicles. So. Okay, no hits anyway. Okay, so first one. Yeah. Is it? No, definitely going to be him. And try and poke him with the uh, end of that gun barrel. Uh, yeah. So. Okay. So that's both the charges made. Mm. We'll uh, come back for the uh, for the five case. So straight into the fight face. <laughs> Two devil fish uh, against uh, four pathfinders. <laughs> feel, feel the pain of my town close combat phase. Okay, so they got three attacks each. I'm going to roll them all together. Yeah. So it's going to be a case of hitting on sixes, but they don't do wound on twos. So you know, we'll see. We'll see. Any sixes may may hurt. Oh, we got one. That is a wound. Oh. Would you care to make a five up answer? Well, or preferably not make one. No. Ah! Oh, no. Run over like a boss. <laughs> Right, might as well strike you back, sir. Three hits. Yeah, now you're mm. yeah. Oh no! Three up armor save. No! Ah! <laughs> Smashes a fin off one of them. My body has clogged your intake. So, <laughs> so the end yeah, of the... Uh, one of the rangers jumps into the engine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the end of the uh, tower assault phase. Uh, Charlie, how do you feel your turn went? Oh, I think your assault not... phase was more effective. My assault phase was definitely more effective than my shooting phase. Alas, I think I... Uh, I mean, to be fair, I was I was expecting this to a degree because the, it's just so hard to hit those Elytok Eldar. And particularly with Tau, got basic ballistic skill 4+. plus. It is, it is tough. Um, I, so I'm sorry to have played the lightning fast reflexes, but I felt that having no, it, you're not. I mean, I, I, I'm not actually you. sure you needed it. If I'm completely <laughs> honest. Yeah, so um, but I mean, at least at least he got rid of a lot of his command points. So hopefully, if I can kind of weather a bit of the storm coming, I think I'm down to six now. So. Um, then I might be able to sort of take advantage when he doesn't have those stratagems available and hopefully my army will be a lot closer. Mm. Still not entirely sure about the broadsides. I was planning on taking a ghost kill and some crisis suits, but I couldn't get the crisis suits painted long um, in time. 
The broadsides are not good against Eldar. If you're playing Eldar, don't take broadsides because <laughs> they're not very good because you need those hits with the marker lights. It's so hard to get it up to the, the five that you need for that plus one to hit. Yeah. To kind of, and that, even then it just cancels out their native modifier. So, But anyway. So, so how, how about your uh, so how about your victory points. points? So I got screw objective four over here. And then I did not get behind enemy lines, but I am going to hold on to that for later. And the then mystery reveal. the mystery reveal is a Tau specific objective, which is multiple distractions, yeah. which is score one victory point if there is at least one enemy unit wholly within 12 of one battlefield edge and the opposite one. So Jamie's Fire Prism is within 12 of that battlefield edge and his Crimson Hunter is within 12 of this one. So I get that. Ah. I've got so, this one before, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. so, so, so end of the first battle round, it's a 3 2 lead for the Eldar currently. Uh, we'll jump straight into. Is it a Four, three. Oh, sorry, four three. Two you get strikes. two. Mm. Ah, two first strikes. So, so yeah, four three yeah. lead. So mm. fairly even for a start off. There's uh, not as much damage done as we half expected. We'll uh, come back at the end of the uh, movement phase of the Eldar second mm. turn. So Eldar turn two, Jamie. Mm. What cards have you gone for? So we have the mystery card. Plus scour the skies and behind enemy lines. Uh, scour the skies made sense because there's so many things with the fly keyword mm -hmm. and behind enemy lines. Um, oh, you no. messed up on that one. No haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> behind enemy lines was probably a mistake because I uh, I was thinking of dropping the fire dragons in against the broadsides, in which case they would have got it. But instead, instead well, I suppose I could still you put them all the way over there, didn't you? It's You've still you got the rangers in reserve, haven't you? So. I can still put the rangers on and claim it next yeah. turn. And there was nothing else really in the deck of five that I could have achieved this mm. turn. So it's nothing ventured, nothing gained, nothing lost, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. do you want to go for your movement phase then? Yep, so we've moved fire, uh, Wave Serpent up here. Um, it's still got five Dire Avengers in it. Two Prisms have stayed put. The Crimson Hunter has done a complete rewind and come back over here. <laughs> we've shuffled around with uh, HQs a little bit. Um, the Reapers, we've got two up on here now, so they can actually shoot something this turn. Um, Dire Avengers shuffle forward, Guardian stayed put, Elix stayed put. These two guys have fallen out, back out of combat. Uh, the Shining Spears have jumped over to there, and the Fire Dragons have appeared here from the webway, nine inches away from these guys. So really the strategy this turn is I want to remove these two Wave Serpents. Not wave uh, serpents. Not wave serpents. We did that earlier, didn't we? Yes. Uh, <laughs> want to remove these two devil fish <laughs> and uh, hopefully some of their contents because breaches scare me. And even if I can't remove as many of the breaches as I'd like to, at least I've got a bit of a speed bump for them there. Perfect. So uh, psychic okay. phase. Psychic phase. Mm. Yeah. That's wrong. So just talking to the chaps. Um, it's an interesting army to play against this one because the contents of those three devilfish do petrify me. Uh, 30 breaches. So, and because the Riptide's got its three up invulnerable this turn, I'm thinking actually I will focus my efforts on cracking open transports this turn. Uh, therefore, all the psychic powers are going to be directed at this devilfish here because I think I've got enough firepower to deal with the other two over there in theory. So, we will start by trying to jinx it, same as before, needing the seven doesn't go off this time. Then we will try and doom it also, being seven also. Doomed. And then lastly we will just play smite because execution is a bit moot against it and you never know we might get the eleven. Oh. Well, I was worried about that. <laughs> I think we'll have to room to the fast here because you never know. Oh, yeah, I could. I always forget you can use that. For that. Oh! And he's done it. So, that is a power rolls, but... It's a ghost helm. Ghost Town save achieved. So, that's it. So, you get a. So you, so, you, so, you, so you need to roll two saves because it's a, you get a, a, an invulnerable save against mortal wounds caused by perils. Ah, okay. So, Good that would so. be two yeah. mortal wounds. Gotcha. So, now you've got two, two up invulnerable Good saves. Deal. There you go. Well, Very nicely done. Okay. And then now the damage. This, this is where the ones come out, so it's four. I will take the four. Okay. Not bad going. Not bad for a smite. Mm -hmm. Okay, so psychic phase done. end of psychic phase. Right. Time to kill some more stuff. Hope so. Okay, so start off with this unit of rangers here. They're going to shoot down at the commander. Ooh, oh, they're they're rolling. Time, they? 
So that's one mortal wound and two saves, I believe. Okay, so he has a three uh, save. Three saves, it's a mortal wound in addition. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. I remember it. So okay, one wound. One wound. Mm. Okay. Illich Knight Spear's also got line of sight on him, so he's going to have a pop too. Okay. Hits. Wounds. Yep. So that's at minus three, three damage. So he's got a uh, six up. Oh, <laughs> oh very <laughs> well done there. Doesn't count, it's on a base. <laughs> <laughs> right, very good. Um, <laughs> is this happening no, again? That's, 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 happening that's, again? That's, that's bullshit, that really is. <laughs> Wave Serpent's closest to him, so it's going to use... No, it's not. Oh, well, sorry, that little guy. See, that's the beauty of your uh, your bird poo camouflage. I couldn't even see him. Exactly. <laughs> that was that moment. So, Wave Serpent will fire at him. Try and remove him. Yeah, that's statistical. Okay, so I believe that's... So one of three minus three. And one of minus three. So one of mm -hmm. minus three will be a five up. Nope, so he's down to one wound. And he's got three saves left. Mm -hmm. But these will be two ups. Yeah. So anything but a. Oh, he oh. lives. He Not he quite. Lives. <laughs> he is so annoying. <laughs> uh, now serpent shields. Has to be in its shooting phase, doesn't it? Indeed. Mm. I'm not sure I want to discharge a serpent shield just to kill him. There are a lot of damage to things around, which yeah. against which the serpent yes. shield is insanely good against. Yes, I think uh, you're right. So. Um, at worst, I can maybe waste the Tempest Launcher just to remove him, or I could charge him. You never know. We'll see. So Guardians are going to fire two Shuriken Catapults and Bright Lance down here. So, Bright Lance hits Shuriken Catapults. Two hits. So, to wound. Just one wound from the Catapults, and then the Bright Lance wounds. Uh, it's doomed as well, so you re yeah. that. Oh, very good, thank yeah. you. Hits. Okay. So we'll do the little crappy one first. Yeah, loves it. And then AP minus four, I believe, goes straight through because mm -hmm. it's armour, so D6 damage. Yes, oh! The six. The big six. on the devilfish? Is it 12 wounds? I think it's 12 wounds, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll check that, that and come back for the next that. shot. Oh, so goodness. continuing on, uh, something we've just realised, Jamie, what have you forgotten again? might have been linked fire. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a new rule, new house rule, and that is if I haven't declared it, then assume I had. <laughs> Maybe. And then if even you forget it, no command points. if yeah, you forget it again next well, turn. Well, if I get it again next turn, then I forfeit the game. Ooh. I think that's fair. Oh, I think that's fair. So, <laughs> okay, um, so uh, Charlie has been uh, yeah. ever the honourable and wow. has let you, uh, I'm let you do it again mid-turn. So yeah, what's, what's your next shooting? Uh, so we're going to ping over to the Dark Reapers now. We're going to try and take off the last two shots, uh, two wounds on that devilfish using these two chaps. And then the Tempest Launcher is a bit of a waste, but we're going to shoot it over here to try and remove this chap. So Tempest Launcher first. It's nine shots. Oh, there's two There's ones a one ones Wounding on fours. It is fours, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Uh, okay, right, I'm going to take your dice. So uh, I will need now a four, well, these all to be four ups. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. I'm actually kind of tempted to try a command <laughs> point that because that would be really funny, but he's not going to do anything all game, so I think we'll. Oh, oh, he's done so enough, he's saved your commander from Ryan Shuriken shots. So Almost wound, certain so death. He's done. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so then the yeah. uh, Reapers, normal guys. Yeah, so we've got four shots onto that little fish. Probably more effective to use the other firing mode, I think, against him, perhaps, because he's tough as seven, isn't he? You 100% want, because you've got Doom, you 100% want the more shots firing mode. Right, I'll take your advice, Charlie, as a former Eldar player, you know your stuff. Well. So, three hits. So two. 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 Uh, AP minus two, so um, five ups. He's dead. Oh, he gets it. Does he go kaboom? Right. Does he go kaboom? No. 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 Uh, right. So for the for the gun drones, they're both all right. Mm -hmm. And then for the ten breaches inside, this is the bit I'm always scared of. <laughs> 
Because I don't know if you remember last time, Jamie, when we were playing this and you blew up one of my devil fish, I lost three out of five of the, the occupants, yes, I do. I do which was not fun. Okay, right. No ones! I'm, uh, I'm actually kind of tempted to re-roll that. Yeah, okay, I think I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to re use my re-roll for that one. So, do I get it back? No. Does he die? No. no. Should have done that the other order, shouldn't I? <laughs> right, okay. So let me disembark then. So having uh, forgotten, obviously, uh, Charlie and Jamie rolled for the uh, command point regeneration for using the link fire stratagem on these. I didn't uh, roll. Oh, I didn't roll. I didn't seem fair because uh, I've been given so much leeway. But Charlie got six. I got one though. Finally, <laughs> and obviously that was the one that was off camera. Yeah. So uh, next <laughs> shooting. Next shooting. Uh, we're going to try fire dragons against the closest devil fish over here. So re-rolling that one. They all got fusion blast because they. There's no fire pack in there. So I believe that is, that is three, wounds. three wounds. Okay, so three d six damage. Hmm, that's a wound on that already, isn't it, Charlie? Yes. So leave him on three wounds. Um, so I think I'm going to use my command reroll to try and get that damage roll. Okay. Yeah. Yes, go on, we'll use it. So you need a, so what you need a I need four. a four in order okay. to destroy him. Yeah. So we'll re-roll it. I can't roll any worse. Uh, so anyway, he's down to two wounds. Do I get the command point back? I don't. Does Charlie get the command point? He can't, can't he's already had one. I already had one. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I was just getting on a roll. So that leaves me on a measly four command points. Crimson Hunter. <laughs> he's going to shoot his pulse laser into the rear devilfish on two wounds. So no! And he's going to shoot his bright lances into the front devilfish. So bright lances both hit. Do they wound? One does. So straight uh, through. Yep, so unless you roll a one. Damn it! <laughs> and then the other devilfish to oh, the pulse laser. Ooh, can he re-roll anything against this? Is he an exile? He's not an exile. Nope. I don't think so. No, nope, so no damage. Okay. Okay, so that back one is dead, but this one is dead. Oh, no, no, nothing. Front one. This front one took, uh, oh. took the wounds, but the oh. back one's still on two. How many? You took three, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So the Shining Spears now fire their lances into here, and they'll fire their catapults into the back one. So yeah. if we oh, just interesting. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. It'd be nice to save them for the bridge. But so, that's box. some sixes. Oh dear. Mm. Just the one save. Okay, so one three up. Oh! oh. oh. Yeah. It's lingering. Obviously that leaves him on one way. He's hanging around. Uh, and then the lances. And the Exarch's lance. Okay. Nope. Does he have a star once? He chance? does. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lovely. So that is two damage. Another five. Oh, he's lost five. Uh, <laughs> so the Autark is going to fire. No! Reaper launcher over that one. Hey, try and think that last wound off. Two sh is it the two shot mode of the Reaper launcher? I think it'll have to be. Yeah, I think probably wise. So, needing threes because she moved. Needing fives. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you going to the white dice? Yeah, I am going to get the white dice. <laughs> dice of destiny. So, it's AP minus two, mm. so I will need a five up. Mm. My record's been pretty good so far, so we'll, uh, we'll see if I can manage it. Uh, ha! Uh, yes! <laughs> uh, I mean, oh, mate, I'm, that's really bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> come, come on, my shooting phase last turn, I'm, I'm, I, it was not great. <laughs> You're on the tissue, Jamie. Oh dear. I might in a minute, we'll see. <laughs> Alright then, so next shooting. Okay, next shooting. Right, okay. Positive, be happy. Yeah, what have you got it's, it's going to be fun. Um, just the little squad of Die Avengers there and the two prisms, which I'm hoping might blow up one of these. And then yes. it's going to blow up and put a mortal wound on this one, which is then going to That is true, that's true. And That's I have to use my command point for your shooting phase, so yeah. I'll be able to deny the explosion. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so the Die Avengers, I don't think, can actually see anything else except for those two devilfish. It's probably <laughs> worth me measuring to see if they're within 18. 
Ah, interestingly, two of them are in 18 of the back devil fish. So we'll okay. the fire. Might not even need them. Always a good fire. idea. So the four on the rear devil fish on its last wound. Ah, yes. Ooh. Ooh. The dice of destiny it. coming out again. The dice of destiny is coming out again. Uh, so I will need, I believe, a six for this. Mm. Well, I would say it's not very likely, but. Oh. I saw it for a second there. <laughs> I saw it. He is dead. Does he explode? No. Well done. Okay. Then the other guys are on fire. So just two saves. But Three ups, three ups. Two three ups. Both fine. Good yeah, stuff. Fine. Right. So the uh, final bit of shooting. Yeah, last yeah. bit. So the breaches I've got out. Uh, Charlie had already burned his command point, so he couldn't save the uh, two that died heroically in they the did. burning wreckage. They tripped over and got incinerated and chopped to bits by flaming wreckage. But it's okay. It's okay. You know, it's all for the greater good, isn't that? <laughs> Hormonal mind control. <laughs> and then the well, fire prism. The prism. So. I'll just roll all together, shall I? Four D three shots. That sounds like sounds like time, yeah. All against the remaining devilfish, which I believe has seven wounds, or is that five uh, wounds left? It has lost five wounds. So it's seven left. So we're looking to chew through those. Okay, that so is precisely seven. average. Just like me. You m you're missing a shot there. Oh, oh am I? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay. Right. right, so even if, so roll those, even if you rolled one damage for all of those apart from one or two of them, it is dead. Shit guy. Yeah. So unless you roll one or two on all of those dice. So no doubt. No. Does he blow? Does he blow? No. no. Okay. okay, so we'll uh, roll up and get the guys out and we'll come back to, uh, to okay. recap the shooting phase. So end of the uh, Eldar shooting phase, managed to get rid of those two devil fish eventually. Uh, and Charlie did lose another two breaches out of one out of each unit. Uh, unfortunately, is uh, losing numbers. Thankfully, they're only cheap. But a uh, little bit less damage than we expected. Again, um, yeah, for some I reason this game uh, isn't quite as brutal as we were expecting, was it? No, I think that's a testament maybe to us not taking top end lists to try and make it a bit more fun. Mm -hmm. Then again, we did play a very similar game before, and as Charlie said earlier, it was a bit dull between all the minuses to hit and all the drone saves, but um, <laughs> yeah, I think it could have gone a little bit better. I wasted a lot of fire trying to take off that devil fish. Um, it would have been nice to have spent some of those shots, especially from the Shining Spears and the Dire Avengers on the contents, but we are where we are. I've got a feeling that I've got to charge shining spears into them, but I'm going to get a lot of overwatch in return. I believe that is going to be the case. <laughs> so, yeah. charge phase. Yeah. I'll, we can just go straight in. Yeah. I'll so. declare a charge. Now, they're two squads of breaches. They are, they yes. So, seeing as you're going to be using your overwatch uh, shenanigans. shenanigans anyway, I'm going to declare charges on those two squads. Okay. So, so we've got to find these two first. Yeah. So, these guys just normal overwatch, not for the greater good. So they'll be shooting their pulse blasters at close range, um, uh, at six in or five inches actually, which is a bit weird, but you know. <laughs> um, so they'll be hitting on sixes. Uh, oh, nothing. Oh. Okay, that's less good. So these guys will be firing at the second profile, so they'll be doing the same thing. Uh, one. And wounding on threes, that's a wound at least. And then the drones, that's four shots each. So they'll be hitting on sixes too. One, uh, does it wound? It does, so that's two wounds, Jamie. Are you regretting not taking tau set now? Yeah. <laughs> to be fair though, I don't think there were any fives in there either. I'm, I'm, sort, of, I'm sort of regretting not having something there with a, I mean, this with a counter fire defense system in Tau is insane because then you get 18 shots which hit Overwatch on fives re rolling. So <laughs> there is that, but. Yes, I know that well. Unfortunately, I think that has spelled doom for at least one of my Breacher squads. So, yeah, not great. <laughs> not great. So, two armor saves then, Jamie? Yep, yeah, well, um, is one of them got a hefty minus on it? Yeah. Well, they've got minus one, but you'll be, you'll be on your three up in vulnerable anyway. 
It's a, isn't it a four up? It's a four, four, four up. up. Yeah. So, okay, so the, one so four the three up. up armor save failed. And that will go on the Exarch. The four up also on the Exarch. So the Exarch has three wounds, hence why I did that. And I don't okay. expect them to survive past next turn anyway. So, um, yeah, so we'll still get all three charging in, which yeah. I'm mm -hmm. pretty confident they will. So you won't be failing that charge. So uh, we'll jump in for the. Uh, for the fight base. So you've divvied up your attacks? Yeah, so what this for? chap with the banner over here is going to hit this squad of four. Two hits, strength six, so we're going to twos. That's two wounds, Charlie. Uh, it's eight minus four, isn't it? It is. So that's just two dead. Two splat. And then and the then other squad, so we're doing um, this is the normal guy. Both hits, both wounds. So that's one squad dead. Uh, that's the other squad, of yeah. course, so they're down to two. And then the Exarch, all hits, and all wounds as well. So that's one squad of four dead. That's and what this about one two? Here. And this, ladies and gentlemen, oh, my shining spears are so nice. They are insanely good. I do need to paint the other two. I've got them converted up, I just haven't painted Ooh. them. So, end of the uh, Eldar second turn. Uh, yeah. A little bit of damage, uh, not yeah. quite as much as we were expecting. How did your points go? Uh, so we got scour the skies quite convincingly. Yep. Um, four units, I think we got behind enemy lines. I screwed up on, so that's going back into the deck. And then combined strike was this one. So we did actually destroy in two phases. Indeed we didn't did. get the psychic phase, which is not achievable. So it's D three because we killed something. Yep. In the salt phase Same. as well. It's just the one. Just the one again. Just two points this turn. Your okay, so objective that rolling thing? is single-handedly keeping me in the game. Yes. <laughs> and it's probably worth mentioning as well what's happened over here because I, I killed more than I was expecting to kill. So. Yep, so uh, because of that, Jamie's been able to uh, wrap and trap the remaining two breaches from that unit. Sorry, Charlie. Uh, <laughs> he has, he has uh, apologised, but... Uh, yeah, no, we can't this blame guy. him really, can we? This well, guy. I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe the dying horror, if not. Charlie, did you do morale for those guys? I did not. Because you could, <laughs> I could, I could, <laughs> actually get myself, it, could get myself out of this if I roll a five. Oh. Three, to, uh, no, unfortunately. No. So, uh, end of the phase, Jamie, where's that put you on um, victory points victory now? Victory points, I believe we're now on six. Six. To Charlie's three, but. Let's see what mm -hmm. he's turned to. Mm. So it's not an unassailable lead. No, uh, we all. can see what going. You've got uh, a lot of firepower. Still a there. A lot of mobile firepower still there as and well. some gun drones to come in. Come on now. Oh, Indeed. we can't forget the gun drones. Never forget the gun drones. Okay, so we'll uh, fast forward to the end of the uh, tail movement phase and see where we're sitting. So into town turn two, shall yeah. we? So Gonna everything's try. more or less moved forwards. The broadsides have sort of sat still, um, and the the two sort of supporting characters with their marker lights. With the minus one to hit, I've just got to try and keep them still to actually land a few marker light hits. Uh, and then the riptide moving forward with his little party line of drones. <laughs> um, Conga and, line. And then uh, just a couple of sort of scattered units. I'm yeah. not bringing the drones in this turn just because there's nothing I feel that they would really add, mm -hmm. and particularly Lines as wise. Jamie's still got a couple of units in reserve. I think it's probably a good idea for me to sort of keep mine as a sort of, um, so I can sort of respond to what he does. Good Particularly as they are only, it's only like 60 points. So I'm not fighting at a massive disadvantage without them. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's my movement phase. So, psychic phase. Done. Shooting phase. <laughs> <laughs> right. So just before we go into the shooting phase, we uh, forgot to cover the cards. Uh, Charlie's got mission critical objective, which is going to be objective three, mm. uh, which is interestingly yeah, yeah. the one that's currently being fought over. So that Ooh. could be uh, could be possible, though uh, oh. there is uh, contingent on a bit of luck there. Uh, overwhelming firepower, which I think most Tau players are pretty happy to see, <laughs> uh, and there is the hidden one, which I have seen, uh, and it's not good. It's not a great one, if we're being <laughs> honest. So uh, straight into the shooting. Right, so first off, broadside's gonna go through to that fire prism. Okay. So, uh, re heavy rail rifle, so cancels out the um, the minus one from a light so I'll be hitting on fours. So first one, that's one hit, wounding on threes. That's a wound, wound. At AP minus four. Okay, Ooh. so that's no save. There you go. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. yeah. So D6 damage. Three. Mm -hmm. I think I'll, I'm all right with that. Yep. Nine left. And then the um, smart missile system is going to go into the rangers. 
So unfortunately, that will be a which rangers? Sorry, Charles. Sorry, that unit yeah. two rangers yeah. there. So okay. I will need two. I get sixes on this, unfortunately. Okay, that's mm. one, three. Yeah. So AP minus one. No, no, AP minus nothing because they've not got uh, yeah. advanced targeting. This is one where perhaps I, I'm really short on command points now, and I think the volume of power, firepower will kill them anyway. So I didn't play the uh, Pathfinder strategy. Okay. okay. So he's gone. That's one left over there. Yeah. So now uh, I'll do the same thing again. So with the next one. So hit on fours against that fire prison. One hit. Winning on threes. That's a wound. Yeah. So D6 damage. damage. Oh. oh! It's so swingy. Three left. So swingy. <laughs> okay, and then it's going to do exactly the same thing. So fire it at those ranges. So sixes. Uh, no. No. So that's, if that's a five, and that was going to be a four. Okay, and then. Final one, same again. Four up. Oh, oh dear! Is it worth the command time. point? But I've got so I've got some other stuff. But do I have anything that's going to make that much difference? I don't think so because I've not got any other big damage one. So we'll re-roll that with a command point. Oh. Did you get it back? Did I get it back? No, no. Like so, command point down. Smart missiles. Smart missiles. Sixes. One. We got threes. Oh, they were they were nearly on a roll. <laughs> they were nearly on a roll. Okay. It's the devil fish all over again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now we're going to do some marker lighting. Mm -hmm. So I'll shoot the uh, pathfinders, the marker lights into the wave serpent. So hit on these be fives. One hit. So that's one marker light. Okay. And then moving on to the these two. Mm -hmm. They'll be shooting at the same thing. Mm -hmm. So these will be hitting on threes. That's two more marker lights. Very good. Okay. So now we've got our next unit of marker lights, which are going to go into the fire dragons. So again, hit on fives because of that pesky light hot stuff. But I do get one, which is all that you need. Thank you. Okay. So that's all the marker lights. So now I'm going to shoot the first unit breaches into those fire dragons. So we're going to use, obviously, their pulse blasters, which at this range, so they'll be hit on fours, re-rolling ones, because of that one marker light, and then they will in fact be wounding on twos, re-rolling ones, mm. because at that range the pulse blasters are strength That's six. Good. So let's see how that goes. So it will be hitting on fours, re-rolling ones. Not bad at all. Especially with that re-roll. Oh, maybe not. Not a good re-roll. Okay, and they're wounding on twos re-rolling. <coughs> Four wounds. Four wounds at AP minus two. Right. So heavy aspect are we three up those with five up. Two die. <coughs> not as good as I was hoping for. Yeah, some pretty good so. rolling for those armor saves. Okay, so I'll have to do go into them with the next unit breaches. So these again will be fours re-rolling ones. Is it a different profile for the wounding now? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, so because it's strength five, it'll be threes rolling ones for the wounds. And it only AP minus one. Gotcha. So no twos, please. <laughs> Curse you. Okay, so that's four at AP minus one. Uh, yes, it's now is four plus saves. Ooh. Ooh. Leaving the XR the only damage one I gather. Yes. Yeah. XR alive on a wound. <coughs> so you've done most of the damage there. Good. Okay, so Riptide has branched an overcharge, so he's got his gun and his shield again. So I'm gonna put the two smart missile systems into these ranges, and I'm gonna put the heavy burst cannon into that injured fire prison. Ooh. Okay. So Actually, no, I've changed my mind. <gasps> I'm going to put the, right, these into the, the smart missile systems into the Reapers, Ooh. and I'm going to put the um, uh, heavy burst cannon into the fire prison. So oh, okay. we'll do anti Reapers first, because everybody hates Reapers, because that's the way the world works. Uh, don't so, the Reapers. Hitting on fives because of the minus one. Oh, very good. <laughs> Three, that's all right. I see you know your soul as well. <laughs> and wounding on threes. Two at AP minus one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're very much not in cover because they're standing on the roof. 
Still love it. Both safe. Mm. Okay, so now the heavy burst cannon going into the fire prism. So we've got eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, oh, yeah. 18. So how okay, many right. shots is this? This is 18 shots. How many again? 18. Ooh. Okay, so we're hitting on uh, fives, unfortunately. Hopefully do a bit better than last time. That already looks mm -hmm. a bit better than last time. So it's still not great, but... I mean, you didn't set a great precedent with last I, time. It, it, wasn't, was it wasn't too tricky no, last time. Better. Yeah. I mean, not that much better, if I'm completely honest. But no, that was, yeah, that was all right. That should be enough. For so, unfortunately, again, it's only fives to wound. It is AP minus two and they're two damage each. Mm -hmm. But I would be surprised if this finished it off. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll see how it goes. One. Okay. And it does go through. So that's two damage. So where have we seen this before, Charlie? Ah! Gush darn. Just <laughs> straining really hard not to swear. Okay, so um, we'll go on to the... Um, let's go on to hit this young fella here first. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put his missile pod into the... Um, uh, into the fire, um, fire prism. Yep. Then I'm going to put his supernova launcher, which I believe is only 24 inch range. So I'm going to put that into, I think I'm going to put that into the rangers. Yeah. Uh, or does he get the reapers? He might be able to get the reapers. He's definitely got the yeah, reapers yeah. there. Okay. So I'll put the supernova launcher and the, heavy, and the high output burst cannon into the reapers and I'll put the missile pod into the fire prism. So we'll do mm -hmm. fire prism first. So this is going to be hitting on threes. Okay. Just enough. Yeah. Winning on fours. Oh. That's a win. AP minus two, I think. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. That would be a fail anyway. Mm -hmm. Right. So does he explode? Let's hope not. It does not. Okay. That's not. It's not. Okay, so okay, so now the next one. So super nova launcher. For that now. I feel so much yeah, better. Yeah. <laughs> D6 shots. So four on the supernova launcher. It's a lovely relic. This I think it's because it, a normal air bursting fragmentation projector is not great, but with the upgrade, it, it is sounds awesome. awesome. It does. It does. So uh, this will be hitting on threes as well. So three hits. Three pick out of two. Yeah, he's already dead. <laughs> It's an omen. Stop, stop, he's already dead. <laughs> um, and then winning on twos because it's strength six. So it's three at AP minus, I believe that's AP minus four, um, three, but I'm not certain, so I will just double check that. Well, there's no sixes in there, so if it's a minus. We think two. it's probably going to be gone, we'll check, and obviously we'll come How much back. damage were they each, Shane? Two. Yes, so the XR would also die. Good. And then we uh, we checked here. Obviously, is a uh, minus three. So those dark reapers are yep. very very dead. So and now we're heading in, Charlie. So we're moving on to these next two units of breaches. So the first unit up here is going to shoot into the guardian squad. There. Oh. That's your shield. Ah. <laughs> you down to four command points. Yes. Now. Do I get it back? No. no. Do I get it? No. Because oh. twelve is not enough. So uh, <laughs> hitting on. So these will be hitting on fours because I'm inside that. Twelve inch yellow light top range. <laughs> ah! One hit. <laughs> Wounding on a three. What's that, Charlie? It's not three. It's not. Okay. Right. I believe we've got a better dice for that roll, don't we, Charlie? <laughs> ah, next lot are going to go into the uh, same squad. So that's to be this squad down here. Mm -hmm. uh, but there. Oh, but there are five of them. So that's an extra two shots. So hitting on fours. One, two, three, four, five. So I actually got it statistically right, which at this stage is, I, I will take that. <laughs> um, and wounding again on threes. Two. Two four up saves. So oh, sorry. both made. Who says guardians weren't resilient? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, right, well given the fact that those guardians are pretty, pretty hard to kill at the moment, I'm gonna fire these two gun drones no, I shall fire the Guardians as well. Because again, <laughs> uh, so that's... Let's see if technology can do better than the... Uh, well, apparently, man. according to the law, um, they have the same intelligence when they're on their own as a squirrel. 
<laughs> so, but if, but the more of them that are together, the cleverer they get. So if there's two of them, we're probably talking a pig. So mm. I mean, they're, they're pretty good. Spider shots, pig. Right? Spider pig. Right. So hitting on fives. Wow. That's more like <laughs> it. That's more like it. Okay. So threes. Still all right. I'm happy with that. Four wounds. Ooh, mm -hmm. cool. 50%. Down with that. Take these two chaps. Okay. So technology, turns out a pig is better at shooting than a, a breacher. Than a fish. Than a fish, yes. <laughs> than a communist fish. <laughs> okay, so moving round here. So we're gonna fire these two at the Dire Avengers. If they can do as well as their little buddies on the other side, I'll be extremely happy. So. These will be hitting on fives again, because they're inside that 12. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's two hits. We've only got threes, two wounds, and two four bombs. Okay, so that's one. There's another one gone. Okay, no, no, that was against these guys. Um, um, and then the next double drone unit, they're gonna do the same thing. They seem to be doing a lot better than my uh, breaches. I'm really annoyed that fire, uh, that Exile's not dead. <laughs> so uh, hitting on fives again. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, right. Uh, I think that is all my shooting, which is extremely upsetting. So we skipped ahead a little bit for the charge phase. The uh, first unit of breaches uh, rolled a double one for their charge to get over the conduit after a uh, command point reroll. They just about made it into the Fire Dragon Exarch. Uh, the second unit quite handily made it into the Ranger that's on the objective. Uh, the one that they ideally need to get rid of. So, Charlie, what one are you going to start with? So I'm going to try and kill that Ranger first. I mean, because of the way that they've moved in, I will now have that objective anyway. Because yeah. I outnumber him and I'm objective secured. However, and? still sort of want to get rid of that guy because, you know, he's mugging me off. Isn't he? <laughs> so hitting on fives, unfortunately. The classic Tau powerful close combat phase. Oh, two sixes. <laughs> oh. Right, let's see if we can to the bottom. see if we can kill him. Oh. That is one wound. Big roll. Oh. 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 He is gone. Beats him to death with a plasma, plasma blast gun. Yes. <laughs> okay. If you could do exactly that same thing again for the fire for the exile, that'd be great. Okay. So same thing again for the fire dragon exile. Yeah. Same so, amount of attacks. Same amount of attacks. So hit on fives. Oh, only one hit this time. That's so, all you need. Oh dear, dear, oh dear. Four up. Oh, do I, um, is that worth, I don't think that's worth the command point. I was really tempted, <laughs> but. Come on, come no. on. Right. Okay, um, so. Hit um, back. Your two chaps fighting yep. the. Um, oh, yeah. Shining Spears. So, fives. One wow. hit. Fives. One wound. Might be enough Ooh. for the Exarch. Oh, oh, yes! Tau, close combat! Oh. Just boshing people. I'm going to have to use a command point. Oh, <laughs> what? Sorry, buddy. I, I, I can't see him go down in that fashion. It's just not oh. Oh. Do you want to steal it back? I did not. Yes, I, I do. Oh, I did not get it on. <laughs> You've now got, what, three command points left? I now have two, yeah, two command points left. And that's a one more lot of lightning first reflex. No more re-rolls. <laughs> well, some more re-rolls. Okay, so attack's back. Yep, so Fire Dragon X uh, gets two hits and one wound on your breaches. Okay, so four mm -hmm. of save. No, one dies. One is gone. Spears, we're just going to try and get that last one. Okay, so I think they needed Double six, really. Uh, more high rolls, at least, because they haven't charged this turn. So that's two dead. That is two dead, yes. Do you want to mm -hmm. bring them over so here? So that is the unit gone. Mm -hmm. So we'll do consolidation, then we'll do a little wrap up for the turn. Yeah. Uh, see what points we've got. So, Charlie, end of your turn two. How do you feel about that one? Uh, it was a bit better than last time. Uh, a couple of bits got destroyed. Um, these guys, the, the broadsides, finally managed to do something. If you can just get past that hit roll, they they can they go through vehicles so well, but they go through bone like, like butter. butter. <laughs> yes, but um, but no, I'm, so I'm pleased with them this turn, and they managed to kind of you know plink a few wounds off here and there. So hopefully, I might be able to just 
move up a bit and get them to start shooting down some other things. It's that plane over there that's that's worrying me. Mm -hmm. um, but I've still got my the Riptide still in good in fine fettle. Um, I've still got the majority of my army is still in intact. So uh, yeah, I'd say that was all right. Okay, so at the start of the turn. You had a three point deficit. I did. How's yes. it looking now? It's looking a bit better actually, mm -hmm. because I killed um, the, oh, what did I kill in the shooting phase? I definitely killed some stuff in the shooting phase. Yes, you killed the fire so, prism, you killed the so rangers yeah. ultimately. Fire prism, okay. Guardians need a morale check. Oh yes, mm. morale check. No, they're fine. So the, uh, so I, I did kill one unit in the shooting phase, which was the fire prism. So I got overwhelmed with firepower. Now, mission critical objective. Now, funnily enough, that mission, that, that, so it's, the, the way it goes is if, if it was controlled by your opponent the turn before, you get D3. Mm -hmm. And it was controlled by, by my Very opponent. Good. Indeed it was. So I do actually get D3 victory points. So let's, here's hoping I can roll better than Jamie does on his uh, victory points. Uh, oh! oh! He's taken the lead. And he sticks the landing. Okay, so that's Very done. mission critical for three and overwhelming firepower, which puts me one point ahead. It does indeed. So you've not managed to get your uh, mysterious objective. No, I'm not anticipating my mysterious objective, to be honest. But Are uh, you, uh, you going to discard? Um, I think I probably should, to be completely honest. Yeah. Get rid of this. But okay, then. So uh, we'll have a... Uh, Quick move about for the Eldar and then uh, jump straight into it. Okay then, so end of the movement phase. Yes, indeed. Firstly, what cards are you drawing? Firstly, um, well, the three we are playing, Master the Warp, Hold the Line and the Mystery card. Do mm -hmm. you or nah. Nah, keep it a mystery. I'm well, hoping to get a, fun, a, solid, a solid three this turn would be nice. Would be nice. Mm, okay. Um, so, yeah, because Charlie's taken the lead by one point now. And, he has indeed. Uh, Dire Avengers have disembarked out here. There's some rangers hidden in that building just in case Objective 6 becomes mm -hmm. a thing later on. And then we have... Both servers moving around here having disembarked. Prism stays still. These guys have shuffled around somewhat. Illix stayed where he is. Crimson Hunter is now up here. Fire Dragon has fallen back, again, in case Objective 5 becomes a thing, should he survive? And then these guys have just moved around Spears have got ready to... Yeah, uh, and I think the Avengers walked up. And that's about it, really. Okay. Mm. It's the psychic phase. Okay, okay. So straight in. Okay. Okay, so um, I will be playing Unparalleled Mastery at some point this turn. Principle being to get off as much psychic goodness as I can because of Master the Warp. Okay, but we'll again start with trying to jinx the riptide of the warlock, needing a seven. Oh dear. Ooh. Right, so that's not worth rerolling. It's all down to the Farseer now. He's got to do it. It's all down to the Farseer. Mm. So we will start with Smite. Ooh, definitely gets that. Yep, so it's D3 Mortal Wounds. And what's that on? One. That's on the riptide as well, sorry. Everything yep. is going against the riptide. Uh, well, Smite will be at the against these Oh, sorry. Which is closest, yeah. So. Doing. Okay, and then so. Executioner. You can choose target with Executioner, can you? I believe. Uh, what does it say? Let's have a look. Okay, nearest enemy for Executioner as well, so we will play it on these breaches. Being seven. Does not look tempting. So we're going to have to use Runes of the Fast here. That Master of the Warp's looking less and less likely. Oh, oh dear. Okay, so that's we're not going to get the D3. But mm -hmm. we used unparalleled um, mastery anyway, just to try and get Doom off here. Okay, okay. on the rip side. On the rip side. And again, a fail. Oh, so very much. Did master uh, the warp, but not really. Well, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that was mastery, really. The wrong the, phrase. The warp was just about tamed a little bit. <laughs> yes, I know. That sounds about right. So disappointing, but let's see what we can do in the shooting phase. Okay, perfect. So as okay. we've just mentioned off camera. Uh, the thing that we uh, were trying to make sure that Jamie had to remember, uh, obviously, <laughs> now isn't uh, useful because there's okay. only one fire prism left. No. So, Ooh, no I linked fire stratagem this turn. Not going to be happening. Unparalleled mastery, however, I do need to roll to see if I get the command point back. Oh, hey, oh. finally! Oh, do I get one as well? No. Oh. So, just saying, Charlie, two command points left. Mm. Um, just saying, what could I use that for? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> right, so Dire Avengers here will fire. I mean, I don't know whether it's worth trying to fire just straight against the shield drones because then I'll be firing against them on their 
Um, toughness, won't that it? So I will be firing against the shield drones. Okay. It's not bad going. Yep, seven hits. Ooh. Oh dear, two wounds. Must nice. start a wound rolling. Could have done with doom on them. Could have done deep. So two four up armor saves. So one, and then as I feel no pain. No, so one goes down. Okay, so we will shoot all of the shuriken cannons probably into that same squad of shield drones because I don't like them. How about your serpent shield? <laughs> the serpent shield will also be going on the nearest unit, mm -hmm. which is him. So mm -hmm. it'll be shuriken cannon shots first. Open for a couple of sixes. That's there we go, Charlie. Sixes, but yeah, that is a good roll. saves and one at minus three. Okay. So is that, sorry, is that mm. four normal saves mm. and a minus three? Yeah. Correct. Okay, right. So the normal one was on a three up invulnerable save. Yeah. And the others are on two up armor save. One will go through. Oh, no. The cannons are on the drones. Oh. Oh, sorry. It was all on the drones. Yeah. Ah, right. Sorry about that. Okay. So, uh, so that first one was passed. passed yeah. yeah. And then the rest of them said so two more dead. Do they get their feel no pain? Oh yeah, of course they do. So one. Yeah. one and then the serpent shield. Let's see, it's on a two plus. Wins. Yeah, and then it's D three multi wounds. Indeed. Ah, oh, just the one. Okay. Do you want to come on point then? No. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, three plus invulnerable save is proving difficult here. We're going to try and do what we can. I'm going to fire the fire prism at him and just see if we get lucky. So 2d3 shots. Two hits. Not close enough to the Autark, I think, because they stayed still. And the twos anyway, so it wouldn't matter. Okay. So it's just the one. Mm -hmm. and one three of immortal save. Ooh, I think Ooh. I'm gonna come on point reroll. <laughs> Mm -hmm. right. Do you get it back? Oh, do I get it back? No. Yeah. Okay. So Tharseer is going to lob a singing spear at these chaps up here. Oh. But it's next to the auto. Yeah. <laughs> Wounds on a two plus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then the uh, warlock will shoot pistol up into them. Hits. Wounds. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, minus three. Minus three. Are they all in cover? Uh, I would say they are all on. Okay. <laughs> Not that it helps. Pew! <laughs> right, then uh, down to the Autark. Now the Autark's got Mark of the Incomparable Hunter mm. and can see mm. his own commander. So I think Indeed. that's worth a punt. Two shots. Didn't move this time. Both hits. No wounds. No wounds. That's a shame. Right. Uh, actually, hang on. That's two for so close. Actually, uh, it... it the straight five, toughness five, so it was a four, and he got a four, so we'll see how we go. So it's an AP minus two. He is in cover, but I don't think he gets cover because he's not infantry. Ah, well, so, he so he has a two. five up. No, two damage. Two come on. Mm. Okay, following on from that, we have a unit of scouts here, and I believe he's out of line of sight yeah. intentionally for a minute like that. So I believe that may have been intentional. Perhaps, yes. Well, <laughs> when he got that three damage, I was like, ah! And then I'm miraculously passed the save, so I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. <laughs> Rangers will go at him in that case. Oh, nice. They've done very well at hitting, mm -hmm. not so much at wounding. So Until he says that. Mortal wounds. Right. Mortal wounds. So two saves and a mortal wound. So two oh, saves. Six, six wounds. Six wounds. Oh, oh, that's that's awesome. nice down. So, so he does good. now only have two wins wins left, left unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're shifting over to the other side of the battlefield for these shining spears. There's two squads of breaches here, ideally both of them would be nice to get rid of them. And I'm going to charge these guys, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lances from these two chaps to go into here just to try and kill a couple of them for overwatch purposes. Mm -hmm. Big Lance and all the shuriken weapons into these three. So, mm -hmm. shuriken weapons are already in. Okay. And to wound you, you need threes. So, I think that's one at minus three, Charlie. So and one dead and three four ups. 
Three more ups. Oh, they're all dead. Okay, so it's a new need to fire the lance. Then we'll just do the last two lances. One hits. One from this squad is dead as well. Yeah. Okay, so drones bug me, but they're not perhaps the most important targets here. I think the bright lance would best served going down into that riptide. And then the guardians, shurik and catapults. Maybe into the breaches. Yeah, we'll go into the breaches, so we go. I mean, you saw his last turn, the drones were the ones that did the damage, weren't they? Yeah. Well, yes, this is it's true. Where it starts, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to stick with the breaches, because they scare me more. Um, and there's quite a lot of them, so we'll go for the squad. That's not in cover, actually. We can't see all of them, can we? We'll go for the ones that are in cover on the containers. How many hits? Good shot. Nice. Um, and just five saves, sir. Five saves on the guys on the containers. Indeed. So five, three up armor saves. Come on, lads. No, lads. <laughs> okay. And the bright right. lance going into the rip side. We get a hit. Don't wound. Fails to wound. Yours, no doom. Mm -hmm. Dire Avengers, uh, wound, uh, one wound on the drone each, isn't it? So we'll split it equally. We'll go two Dire Avengers into there, two into there. Mm -hmm. Try and get rid of those little drone squads. So the one nearest Charlie, two hits, uh, two wounds. Uh, they're tough as four. Oh, sorry, my apologies. So one wound. One wound. Okay, so one four of armor save. Love that. Yeah, very good. And then the other squad, three hits. Just the one at minus three, though, Charles. Uh, is this one dead? Yes, yeah, so that's from here. Pluck one foot. There they go. Rand. Um, Illic Knight Spear hasn't really got any good targets. I don't think he can see either of your commanders intentionally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's going to. that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to have a pop at the Riptide as well, so he misses on a one. Ah. And then my last unit to shoot is the Crimson Hunter, who is also going to pour everything into the Riptide for want of a better target. So that can be the Bright Lances, this can be the Pulse Laser. Bright lances, both wound, the pulse laser does not. So mm. so I'll put both of those into the drones. I thought you might. One into each of the uh, drone tar uh, drone units. Yep, so two fire piano pains. So one one drone dies. Yes. And this is the frustrating thing about playing town. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's the only frustrating thing. There are thing many, about many frustrating things about playing against Well, well no. equally, there are frustrating things about playing against Blue Eldar as well. Yeah, so. I mean, it's, it's six of one, really, isn't it? It is. Okay, right. so it's going to be at least one charge, so we'll yeah. uh, we'll do that and then uh, we'll cut back in for the fight phase. Cool, yeah. Go into the uh, charge phase and uh, that was fairly brutal, wasn't Drums! it? Drones! <laughs> Drones! So, uh, Overwatch. We now are missing a Shining Spear Exarch, uh, who got a uh, Plasma gla Blast Gun to the face and failed 2-4 up in Vulnerables. But the slightly more uh, crazy thing, the two drone units, between them, the support and fire managed to wipe out three of the Dire Avengers coming in, Ugh. leaving just one little guy. Ugh. So, uh, Jamie, yeah. where are you wanting to start well, with your let's attack? Let's do the Shining Spears first. Let's hope they're as good as they were in combat last turn because I'd like to get rid of that breach squad, ideally. Three hits. Yeah, you two's to kill. Mm. They're gone. They're all dead. Gone. Ouchie. So that is what you needed. And then the Dire Avenger Exarch, unless you wish to interrupt. But uh, he misses anyway. He deserves to die. Oh, I was going to say, that was a drone. Yeah, that wasn't really. Okay. So, we got two wins. One drone yeah. attack back. One drone attack back. No. Right. That was the hit. Nothing. Nada. Okay, so we'll resolve yeah. that and we'll come back for a uh, end of turn wrap up. Ah, end of turn three, but we managed to achieve Master of the Warp. It's, it was a bit disappointing. I was hoping for the D3, but never mind. Secure objective three, we got over with the Shining Spears. And hold the line. We do indeed have one, mm. two, three units within deployment zone. So three more points. So how's that Ooh. put us now? I think, that, that puts us on, I think with Charlie's turn still to come, yes, yeah, seven, five, I make it. So still all to play for. Mm. So uh, movement, uh, this is the, I think this is possibly the turn around which the whole game will hinge just because I've got some potentially very high scoring cards to, to get, but it may be tricky to get them. Do you if, want to go for your cards? Yeah, so, so I've got behind enemy lines, so I need 
three units in the back for D3, which I have got now. So that's potential D3. Then ambush, which is basically just destroy units or make the fail morale checks. Mm -hmm. So um, I've got a couple of small units that I can probably pick off, like the there's a dire avenger down there. There's a couple of shining spears there. There's there's a um, fire dragon over there. So I've got a few bits and bobs that I can that I can shoot. So that shouldn't be too hard to get. And then I've got my secret mystery card as well. But we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Although which maybe as Jamie has very correct. Jamie's correctly elucidated that it's probably my, uh, given I've put loads and loads of stuff <laughs> over there, there may be something to do with a certain guy with some very effeminate wings. <laughs> so we'll see about that. It's a girl. It's a girl. Oh, is, is it a girl? Yeah, it's a girl. Oh, okay, fine. That's, that makes, makes a bit more sense then. Cool, right. Well, I'm so, shooting. Oh, sorry. Quite, quite aggressive. <sighs> Quite yeah. aggressive movement though, isn't it? So for, for, it's not. It's, you don't often see Tau this much in somebody else's movement um, mm. zone. Um, I've got to say, from a uh, from a predominantly Eldar player's uh, perspective, it's uh, actually very good to see a Tau army that's genuinely moving. So well, I mean, it's, it, they used to be very very mobile in seventh and sixth with the whole jump shoot jump thing and they lost that and I know, I've got several friends who've stopped playing Tau because they feel the play style's too static because it's really boring yeah which I do understand but I feel that if you're willing to sacrifice a bit of sort of power in your list you can still have something that moves around a bit so yeah well we'll see how this goes so shooting time shoot time yeah start the shooting phase what are you going to lead off with gun drones are going to go into the autark so we'll be hitting on fives Oh, okay, one, two, three, four, oh, five, five out of, uh, what's that, six times four, twenty-four, five out of twenty-four, not what I was hoping for. Not a great start, but... So, wounding on threes, yeah, a little bit better. That's much better. So, four, do you have a three up on me, say? Does indeed. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Well, I don't think there's any point doing anything about that. Because Ouch. One wound left. Flip it. Fudge. Fudge. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know why I need someone whose GCSE worse. grade spelled that? <laughs> um, it wasn't me. Went far off. Jesus. Uh, so, from the, uh, what was it, 5 from 24? 5 from 24 causing 4 unsaved wounds. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, me, oh, my. So, uh, that What's actually, next? That's actually really annoying because now I, if I'm if I don't put everything from the from the commander into his autark, I will shoot myself if he doesn't <laughs> die. But that's way too much firepower to go into a one wound character. But he does have a four up invulnerable save, so I think I've got to I've got to just do everything. Go I on, Charlie. Take him down. It's OPTV. We like overkill here. Okay, right. So we'll start off with the high output burst cannon, which has a cheeky six shots. Eight shots? Sounds right. Six shots, yeah. Okay, so he'll be hitting on twos. Uh, that'll do it. Ooh, good roll then. And wounding on threes. Ooh, so that's five, that's five, five, four of the vulnerable saves. Yeah, that's he definitely is very a gone. Of all of them. So that's on That is. Slay the warlord. Slay the warlord. Okay. Right. That went really, really well. That was way better than I was expecting. Particularly the gun drones. I mean, I've got to get some more of them. I actually think it would be worth doing a... Um, Entire gun drone army? Yes. Yeah. But also <laughs> taking a, a separate commander who's got a drone controller to give them plus one to hit. Because that five up to hit really is where they fall down. But obviously I was lucky there. Okay, so... Um, My capacity to fail nine words in a row didn't... That was, that was quite, yeah, that was quite <laughs> impressive. Uh, yeah, we can't, we can't put all the credit at the gun drones. Jamie's <laughs> got to take some of the credit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this single drone is going to shoot at that last remaining Dire Avenger, see if he can posh him off. Ooh. No, that's all right, that's all right. He, uh, they've, they've done enough this time. One, two, three, four. Okay, so then the unit two are going to try against that Dire Avenger. Oh. That's, that's a bit more like it. One, two, three, four. So now I need to wound on threes. Three saves. Three saves of four up. Ooh. Right, okay. Oh, he's gone. Okay, so going well so far. Uh, so now, the, um, I think the marker lights from this unit of Pathfinders, I think it'd probably be a good idea to go into these. 
just because they're easily visible and I, they're probably the softest, squishiest unit that I can try and kill. I mean, they are blue and bright yellow, so definitely easily visible. Yeah. Marker lighting should work, but I do need fives, uh, so we will see. Oh, that's all right. Go. I'll take one. That's that's the. It's either one or five, really, isn't it? <laughs> Okay, so now these two uh, are going to shoot their marker lights at that jet, I suppose. So minus two to hit, so they'll need fours. Unless. Unless, unless. Mm. I think I'll play it because it's the last command points I have and it'd be nice to keep it alive. Yeah. Despite the fact that it's not managed to do anything. <laughs> so, and I can't get the command point back because... Because you're all up, But you can. So sixes. No, nothing anyway. Do you still um, the command point? Do I still the command point? Ah! <laughs> command point city! Back up to it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so now we'll move on to the um, breaches over here. So they've got, so got five of them left, surprisingly enough. So they'll get two shots each. So ten blast, plasma blast gun. Is it plasma blast or plasma blaster? Shots. And these will be taking advantage of my set tenet. <gasps> One, two, Finally. Three, four, five. Yeah, so they'll be hit on fours, re-rolling ones because of that one marker light. Ugh. <laughs> not great. Still not great. Okay, uh, but then they will be winning on twos. Re-rolling ones because of my set trait. Okay. That's so that's cool. uh, four dead. With no uh, no CP left to use nope, celestial shield. No, it was that or lightning fast reflexes. So okay. So now uh, these two gun drones can they see up from there? Do you think? How's the line of sight looking? Uh, these two can. Oops, sorry, I don't know which is in which squad. So the, these two are the well, they're all uh, separate so units. But one of each can. But these are shield. The, what? One well, they're shield units, so he can see, he can't. Okay, cool. Right. So last one. Well, this little bitty drone units fives. No. Okay. So now. Did you roll any ones then? Yes. Still got a mark oh, on that. Three ones, in fact. <laughs> yeah, I got a hit. <laughs> Wounding on three. Yes. So one uh, four armor save, mate. Loves it. He does save it. Okay, so uh, the last um, Tau Breacher, I believe, cannot shoot at anything. Oh no, he can, shoot the Wave Serpent. Yep. <laughs> so two shots, one hit, one wound, AP minus one. And it goes through. Mm. Which is very convenient because wave serpents very irritatingly have 13 wounds, which doesn't divide into anything, so <laughs> they can be intensely irritating. Right, okay, so that's that. These guys have already fired their marker lights, so those guys. So these guys are going mm. to fire Harumph. I think we're going to do the smart missile systems into the shining spears. Okay. And then we'll do the heavy rail rifles uh, into something. Oh, well, I have to declare it all at once, don't I? I'll probably put the heavy rail rifles into so. this. Right, so these guys are going to split their fire. So this one is going to fire everything at the unit of shining spears. So we'll do that first. So he's going to fire his rail rifle shots. Me on fours because he's got the velocity tracker. That's two hits. And wounding on twos. That's two wounds, so two four up invulnerable saves. Okay, so one so down. One down. And then the. He also has his smart missile system, so that will be hit on fours as well. Oh, that was pretty good. Take that. So now wounding on threes. So three. Uh, three three up armor save, please, my friend. Oh. oh. The armor so save. Luck the shining is spear's down. gone. Spear is dead. Okay, so now the uh, the rest of them. So the, the so this one's going to fire its smart missile system and at the guardians and rail rifle at the uh, wave serpent. So we'll do that first. So rail rifle, two hits because of that velocity tracker, and wounding on threes. I think I'm going to use a command point to reroll that, just because they are. Oh dear! Do I get it back? <laughs> no, definitely okay, not. Nice. So, wounding on threes. 
That's uh, oh, okay. Isn't it? Sorry. No. Oh, sorry. No. no. So that was the royal wound. Yep. So that's a mortal wound because it's a rare rifle. Yep. In addition to the, uh, in addition to a d6. Oh, I should have uh, saved my, uh, <laughs> should have saved my reroll there. <laughs> okay. So the next one is gonna. Oh, and the uh, smart missile systems yep. against the guardians. So these will be hitting on fives. Uh, so it's two hits. Wounding on threes. One wound. There's no evil. Saved. Well, that was it. Nice okay, again. and then the next one is going to do exactly the same thing. So that's one hit and no oh. wounds with the rail rifle. Mmm, mmm, feeling that. So, oh, smart list assistance into the Guardians fives. Three hits, winning on threes. Three saves. Three saves. Yeah. That's Oof. the platform oh. and the Guardian dead. Okay, there is another unit gone. Right. Yeah. So, you know, Pathfinders over there, I'm going to finally use one of their um, um, pulse carbines uh, to try and pink plink the last wound off that fire dragon. The rest of them are going to use their marker lights to try and shoot the fire prism if they can see, which I think they can. Very much so. They can indeed. indeed. So, we'll do the marker lights into the prism first. So, I will need sixes, unfortunately, because they did move and the marker lights are heavy weapons. Oh. Very much no. Okay, and then the pulse into the fire dragon, which will need threes. Uh, five, sorry. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> okay, right. So, I mean, I, I'm I, given how good my the rest of my turn has been, I'm, I'm not particularly upset. Time for Riptide. So, I'm going to put the two smart missile systems into this unit of five Dire Avengers, just sneaking around here, mugging me off. Mm -hmm. So, this will <laughs> unfortunately be fives as well because they're just out of that 12 inch range. Oof, nothing there. And now the heavy burst cannon is going to go into the fire prism, methinks. So that does get its 18 shots again because it overcharged with the shield as well. So this will be fours and then it will be uh, fives because the fire prism is toughness seven. So fours. Okay, that doesn't look too bad so far, but the real test is going to be the next bit so a good roll on here could really make a massive difference if i can get it on its second profile so fives oh mm. uh, yeah i'll take Not that bad i'll take that so that's four at minus two okay so five up two nine so it's been a fist oh, yeah so that's eight, eight damage down to four Okay, so is that the end of your shooting phase now, Charlie? I think that is the end of my shooting phase. Assault okay. phase? Assault phase, I think I'm going to leave the assault phase because there's nothing I actually want to be in combat with. <laughs> I don't think I okay. have any morale checks because I think everything died. So, right, so yeah. let's work out, have a look at your work points. out the points. So, behind enemy lines, I do have three units in uh -huh. Jamie's deployment zone, so that gives me D3. So that's two. So now equal. Then ambush. So one victory point if an enemy unit is destroyed. I did destroy three units, so that's another D3. Oh, so that's three points. Three. And finally, da, da, da. Kingslayer for D3 points. I thought it might be. <laughs> oh, oh three. Plus one. Plus what, yeah, plus one for Warlord. So that's... So you're now ahead by... That puts me ahead by seven. seven. points. Right. That's a big lead now. Yeah, I think... Um, Depending on what cards are, should we just draw the cards? And if the cards are not favourable, then I'd be happy to call it because I just don't think I can claw back after that. Let's that go for the big cards. turn, Charlie. Good rolling. Well, yeah. It's a pretty devastating turn, that one. Um, we've drawn five cards and picked three. I think I can achieve all five, but um, two of them I've got potential for D3. So if I can have a better psychic phase, potentially get D3 there. And if I can manage to plink off some of these little um, straggler units like the drones and the um, breaches, then there's potential for me to get D3 there as well. Uh, behind enemy lines I've already got because of the rangers that deep struck in. Hiding in the building over there. So, mm -hmm. so I think I'm now trailing by seven points. If I get lucky with my rolls here and then the rolls at the end, I could maybe level it up being a turn behind Charlie. So it's probably worth playing it just to see. And if it goes badly, then I think we'll concede it. But let's see. Okay, let's get to the movement phase and uh, see what happens. Okay. Yep, so movement phase, very brief. 
Just move the Crimson Hunter back down here. It's been darting around this part of the board. <laughs> um, move the Waste Open back a bit. The Avengers shuffled along to get some better um, zeroing on targets. Fire Dragon mix up is hidden over there, just in case Objective 5 is a thing. Coward. And then these two have moved along to try and do some damage over here. So straight into the Psychic phase. The Fast Seer, oh. oops, nice on the floor. Fast Seer is going to doom the Riptide. She will use her runes. Big roll. No, oh. I think that's it, really, isn't it? The Warlock will jinx the Riptide just. And then Tharsir will smite against Tower Commander. And she does. Yes, she does. So D3. D3 needs two. Uh, no, no, I healed for two at the beginning yeah. of your turn. Oh, you healed two. Yeah. So, we're, so we're I've got four left. Ah, okay. Sorry, I didn't realise that. So I've got one. Mm. One left. Right. Okay. Right. I don't think that would have made me use Executioner anyway, so uh, <laughs> we'll just carry on as we were. So into the shooting phase. So we, we will only get one for mastering the runes, unfortunately. So things are just creeping out of reach now. Uh, shooting phase will be quick, so we'll just shoot at the Riptide. 2d3 shots. Oh. You know when it's just going that way, and I think we're <laughs> not quite on the lowest profile. Uh, no, you say yes, you've got one here. One hit, one wound. Yeah, that's a wound. So four of the normal save. Uh, oh, I should have probably picked your Actually, I'm going to take, take it off a drone. I'll take it off a drone. Yeah. yeah. I was going to kill them first, I forgot about them pipers on there. Okay, never mind. So, Dire Avengers, I will probably fire those into this last shield drone just to get rid of it. Okay, nearly forced to wound you. Oh, there we go. What's the 20, sorry? Into the shield drone. Okay. So, that many saves. So, four ups. No, he's dead. Doesn't he get a feeling of pain? Oh, he does. Yeah. So you remember that every time, and I've never remembered it. Oh, he's still there. <laughs> right. Okay, so then we'll do the Crimson Hunter into the Riptide. Two shots with the um, Lances. Both hits with the Pulse Laser. One hit. Lances to wound on threes. Nice. Pulse Laser, same. Okay. So, um, uh, Bright Lances. Oh, uh, so what are you doing to me, man? Breaking and the then the other one, break my bar. <laughs> Don't break my bar. Break my bar. I think the save luck disparity has been yeah. unbelievable. The, uh, uh, this kill those other drones. I hate the little bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Which ones? They're the ones hiding. Right? Oh, so there's two units, aren't there? Two units. Yeah. Uh, the gun drones. Okay. okay. So one at minus three and three others. So one is dead and two are dead. Right. Um, I'll take the small victories. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, Farseer and Warlock have both managed in, although Farseer has taken a wound on the Overwatch. Yeah, uh, so, so Farseer, result two hits, two wounds. Okay, so the question is, do I try and take some of these on his armor? Because there's no minus. Because there's no minus, so he does have a three up, but if I fail that three up. It's D3. Yeah, so I could potentially run out of drones. But or do I want to save my reroll for a saving protocols when I really, really need it? So I'm probably going to I'll I'll take the first oh, this is this is tricky. I'm not sure it's gonna make a vast amount of difference in the grand scheme. I'm just gonna take both of them. I think you need here. to use the uh, dice of destiny for this one, don't you? Well I've got two to, to do okay, well the first I'll put them both onto the saving protocols. Yeah. Fine. Fun. Ooh. Okay, so that's two dead. Two dead. Okay, and then the witch blade. Unless you want to interrupt. No. Nope. Witch blade <laughs> from the warlock. Only one hit and one wound. Uh, so I will also save the protocols that. Yeah. Yep. So that's the protocol. And you can fight back. Right. Jump the gun a little bit there, but first three or first four attacks onto the um, warlock. So three hit. Strength five. So three to wound. Oh, that's less good. Four up. Yeah, nice. Okay. So nice. end of the combat phase, Jamie. Yeah, well, um, I mean, I could have maybe redistributed my firepower more to try and get overwhelming firepower, but I think once the Master of Runes went to uh, pear shake the Psyche phase, I thought, you know what, well, there's no point trying to get the points now. Let's just play for fun and for vengeance. <laughs> vengeance! So, so, three command points. Didn't quite get to slay the Warlord. Is he even your Warlord, actually, Jamie? Yeah, I thought so. so 
I'm going to call it there because I just don't think I can compete with the sort of firepower he's got with what I've got left. Um, and yeah, I think it's, it's reaffirmed what I always thought about Tao, and that is that drones are really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay then, so uh, that is a Tao victory, as much yeah. as we hate to say it. Uh, we will come back for a little wrap up uh, and go through it, and then, uh, yeah, let's go. So then guys, that was pretty brutal, I'm uh, sure you'll agree. Oh, yeah. uh, so with the final yes. uh, final victory point total of 16 to 12 in favour of the Tau, uh, I think that was uh, what looked like it was going to be fairly close, it ended up pretty comprehensive due to uh, basically one, one well, good turn. It, it, was, it? It, was the, it was that one turn that of cards, turn was, and it yeah, wasn't it was even crazy. just that they were good cards, it was the fact that I rolled really well for all the points, so it was two points, three points, three points. I mean, that just yeah. put me so far out in That's front it. of it. I think once we reached that point, that I had a chance to level it up with you with a turn in loop, yeah. but it just didn't happen. So best to call it that, I think. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think that's, I think that's, uh, but I think it was a good, um, a good show in to be honest for both armies. Yeah, yeah. both, both nicely balanced and uh, nothing too cheesy. So uh, I've asked you both to put forward an MVP, Jamie, as the loser. You can go first. Why, thank you, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm going to put these Shining Spears down because they rarely get to do anything in a game. And I think in this game, they not only lasted past the first turn, but they did get to do a few things. They took an objective for a point, and I don't know, they just stood out to me as being units that I, that I liked in the game. So, mm -hmm. And also, a nice opportunity to display that lovely conversion that you've done. Are those cold, yeah, those are cold ones. ones from um, Dark Elf Knights, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. with a few little bits. Very nice, in very nice there. indeed. Really pretty. We'll be expanding them to a five strong squad at some point and mm. rebasing them. Yeah, there's that critical mass with uh, Shining Spears, isn't there, where you get enough damage through for them to not reliably kill a target yeah, turn. Yeah. Okay, so Charlie, your MVP? I think well, it was pretty clear, were not it? I think uh, the, the humble gun drone. I mean, uh, I, this single unit that dropped down, I and the commander dropped over. I mean, he, uh, they, they did a huge amount of damage and nearly killed the, the warlord on their own. Um, and they're also they're representing for um, for all the other little units of gun drones, which just whittled away lots and lots of infantry units. Which I think Jamie and I played this before, and he won in large part, I think, because I couldn't get to his infantry units, which were then able to clear my breaches off and stop me getting points. So the fact that gun drones were able to sort of counter his anti-infantry was, that was quite decisive, I think. You're yeah. a strong advocate for uh, drones' rights, I think. Yeah, yeah. just go drone. <laughs> okay then, so uh, that gives us the, uh, the end of our uh, inaugural battle report. Mm. Uh, as always, I'll ask any suggestions, anything you didn't, didn't like that we didn't, that we did do, or didn't do. Uh, any suggestions, always happy, any rules we've messed up, just anything like that, just let us know down in the comments. Uh, next battle report is going to be myself and Jamie. Uh, should be an interesting one actually. Something uh, it's going to be a bit different to this one, so uh, we'll wait and see. Okay, thank you for tuning in. See ya. Ta ta and farewell.